Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 13th edition of the Poppin' Off podcast. My name is Tyler. And I'm the Glizzy Gobbler. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet yeah. you. I, I told Tyler beforehand I was eating a hot dog, so yeah, I, I feel like it's not a Dairy Queen hot dog like uh, Deadpool likes from uh, Funko Street, but mm-hmm. second best. <laughs> yeah, it's a good wiener. Um, yeah, we're on uh, episode 13 already. Uh, kind of crazy. And we're starting off in video form. Let's see how this goes. We're going to try to do this whole one in, in video form see how it turns out. So, yeah, last time we did it, and I, I mean, watching it back, there was a couple of times where it glitched out a little bit. Um, yeah. But I mean, for the most part, it was pretty, pretty good. I was thinking maybe because there was three people and it maybe. didn't process right. I don't know. It was weird. But yeah, we're, Let's we're get starting four people whole... in here. Four people? Yeah. Who are the <laughs> other two? Uh, we can we can bring in, um, you know, let's bring in Tommy Wazoo and Joe Biden. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, that, that, that's how you pronounce it. I don't even know. Like, what? What is? Where is he from? Like, he's never even confirmed it. Like, that guy's like, he's, he's definitely European, but I don't know where. No, he's from a room, the room. Oh, okay. He was born in the room. Yeah. Um. Anyways, you know what's weird about the room, by the way? Like, what does the title what refer to? Does it refer to the room that he shoots himself in? Like, what does it mean? The room, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what I room? Mean, all of the rooms. All of the rooms. <laughs> uh, yeah so uh this week i uh continued my wes anderson marathon i watched two more movies uh I, the next one his third movie was the royal ten and bombs okay and i haven't then, seen that one yeah and then uh the fourth one was the life aquatic with steve zuzu which is a funny title um so both of them i'm happy to report are also 10 out of 10s uh that's, that's good yeah i haven't dude. seen either of them this guy's movies are, I'm like falling in love. Um, so Royal Tenenbaums, oh my God, so good. Like, I feel like that's his movie he's like really most known for, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a really good cast, obviously. Bill Murray uh, is in all his movies, pretty much. But mm-hmm. like this one had Ben Stiller, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Luke and Owen Wilson, again, were in it. And um, who else was in it? Uh, what's her name? Uh, she was in Adam's Family. She played Morticia um i'm forgetting her name oh angelica houston mm-hmm. she was in it and gene hackman but it's about this really quirky family that's rich and then the father he like has an illness so he wants to spend some time with his family and the movie mm-hmm. like starts off like showing you like he wasn't the best dad back in the day um like i don't want to say too much because like the less you know the better like i'm going into all these yeah. movies, like, totally blind so like it really helps um but yeah, it's it's a really fun movie, and Ben Stiller stole the show. Like he was so, <laughs> so weird. Um, but yeah, it's it's so it's so good. Like, and it has a crazy like climax. Like all his movies have like a crazy climax, but this one was like really bonkers. Um, yeah. But yeah, ten out of ten. Like, oh my god, and it had really cool music in it. Like it started with like a Beatles cover, and mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and then the next movie, uh, Life Aquatic. Um, when it started, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. It's about a group of, group of uh, oceanographers. And it's like, the prequel to The Lighthouse, right? Basically. Has- <laughs> yeah. So so this movie is about a bunch of like oceanographers and the, their leader, essentially, Steve Zuzu, is Bill Murray. So Bill Murray's the lead in this one. Um, and man, he was fantastic as the lead. Like, I wasn't sure how he would be, but man, he killed it. Um, I've never seen Bill Murray like play a character like this. And at first I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this movie as much, but dude, the movie surprised me so many times. Like, I'm not going to give away anything, but it felt like Uncharted at certain points. Um, And I was like, am I watching a Wes Anderson movie right now or what? But it was unbelievable. Like by the time it was finished, I was blown away and it had so much cool, like David Bowie music in it. And yeah, it was really unique. Um, So also a 10. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Do you know what happened? I don't know. You were talking and it just froze. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if it's... It says it's still... Recording. I don't know if it's a connection thing or if it's our thing. Yeah, it's recording now. Oh, that was weird. What just happened? I don't know. We cut it out. I mean, that's the power of editing. Yeah, I'm going to have to edit this. <laughs> okay. Um, so what was you the last... Talking, you were talking, you can like... Oh, you're talking about the performance of, uh, of Willem Dafoe. Oh, Willem Dafoe? Mm-hmm. I didn't mention Willem Dafoe. Are you just saying that because of the lighthouse? <laughs> no, no you're, just, you're talking about someone's performance. I forgot which which one it was. Someone, okay. Um, yeah. No, Bill Murray. Uh, yeah. Right, right, right. Did you hear what I said about Uncharted? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
so yeah the movie surprised me a bunch of times like i'm not going to spoil it but like there were certain points where it felt like uncharted um and i was like am i watching a wes anderson movie right now because what uh but anyways yeah willem dafoe was in it too he was amazing um yeah dude uh 10 out of 10 for sure so i recommend both of those so did you see anything new this week um yeah, I was gonna say this is your week because I didn't. I basically have been pretty much busy the entire week, so I really only watched like one or two things, um, and that's about it. What did you watch? Um, uh, I watched uh, the movie. It's in theaters. I watched it in theaters. Uh, Wrath of Man with Jason Statham. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, Guy Ritchie. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. I, I'm I'm genuinely surprised. I thought I was gonna make another cliche kind of generic, boring action movie, but it's not. <laughs> uh, it's actually entertaining. I mean, the first I'd say half, or if I'm gonna be generous, even just the first quarter of the movie, it's very the dialogue and the the acting. It's very very cheesy. Like the writing and the delivery, it's extremely cheesy and kind of corny. <laughs> uh-huh. But then it picks up, and especially the last half, it's it's pretty good. Although like there's something towards the end that happens. You're like, okay, have that have that happen. They didn't even explain it. You just because he's Jason Statham um <laughs> uh but uh yeah the ending is pretty good it's kind of it's basically kind of a heist movie um mm. in a revenge uh, movie which I like both of those types of movies um there's a flying here I think I killed it um <laughs> yeah uh it's a I give it I'd say a b plus probably okay b b plus um I'd probably get the blu-ray um Speaking of which, tomorrow, what comes out tomorrow on Blu-ray Tuesday? Oh, I know Chaos yeah. Walking comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, is that it? Is that the only big release coming out tomorrow? Um, I'd have to check the calendar. I think so. Okay. Um, are you getting that one? I assume you are. Uh, I probably am. Um, although, I'm waiting f- I, I, I'm waiting for my best buy points to come in because I know I have a lot of them. They're just, like, still waiting. Because, I, 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 like, you know, after a certain amount of points, you get, like, $5 rewards. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to wait for that because I think the 4K is already on sale, just the standard one. I think it's it's only like 28 dollars instead of like the 32 or whatever mm-hmm. oh was it weird i don't know if it was just me was the godzilla versus kong still book like more expensive than usual like i know like the steel books are usually like 34 like it was like going almost, almost like 40 bucks yeah i'm pretty i noticed that it's like almost 40 bucks i think they did that on purpose because they know this one's gonna sell like it's really gonna sell so i think yeah. they upped the price a little bit yeah mm-hmm. i don't know if there's any specific that was like that's so weird yeah like i don't know if there's any specific like is there a bonus disc or i don't know why but it looks yeah. awesome though. I, oh I yeah, think it no, it's pretty cool. I like the choice of artwork. Yeah, it's good. Um, I like the maybe... inside how it's the promo art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, uh, and, on the boat. Yeah, I love that shot. Yeah. Uh, no, like even in person, like sometimes I see the pictures of the steelbook and I'm like, oh, that's gonna be great. But then sometimes when they come and you see it, it's like even better. Like maybe it'll be glossy. Maybe it'll have like. Yeah, I, th- I feel like it might yeah. be glossy. I think. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the other ones are glossy. I think. Um, or is, mm-hmm. I think Skull Island is a matte. Let me let me check actually. It's right here. I think it's a hat. I love, I love this one. The colors oh, on yeah. this, yeah. I'm so sad. I was supposed to pre-order it, but for some reason I didn't, and now I'm stuck with the. I mean, it's an exclusive still, but it's just the Blu-ray, and I'm sad yeah. because it's such a good. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's a matte. Yeah, yeah. it's it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, but this one was I... was shit of the monsters. Uh, glossy. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> shit of the monsters. Oh, speaking of this, let me show you what came in the mail today. The flocked one. So video soon yeah and then i have another one i won't reveal Let's keep it as like another surprise but yeah mecha godzilla no unfortunately i gotta mm. i gotta get one still they just the standard probably but yeah um so that was the only thing you watched was uh wrath of man um i i think so um no back to the future <laughs> no i was trying to but i just didn't have any time really this week okay so, yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty um, much Back it. to the Future Part 2, I think it's a shorter movie than the other two, so it's it's pretty short, easy. The to... first one was pretty short, so I'm shocked it's even shorter. Yeah, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure the second movie is shorter, and it goes by so quick. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem when you get the time for it. Um, I'm excited for the third one for some reason, just because it's like it seems so different from the other yeah. two. It's a Western. Yeah, the third one's really cool. Under And obviously movie. the second one, it was a big deal, so I've kind of gotten yeah. used to it. You're yeah. going like, to like all of them, I'm sure of it. I, I just know. Um, yeah. So uh, also this week was Army of the Dead on Netflix. Um, I've been mean. I was gonna try to go watch that in theaters, but uh, I still haven't gotten a chance to watch it. Yeah. I just know one of my favorite songs, uh, "Zombie Cranberries," is in it. I guess. 
Yeah, um, this isn't a spoiler, really, but every song in the movie is actually a cover. Like, there's a oh. really recognizable songs. Yeah, like, that's the movie that the song ends the movie is that one, Zombie by the Cranberries, and it's a cover. They're all good covers, too. Um, I'm not sure why he chose that, but uh, anyways, it was a really good movie, I think. Um, there were certain parts where I was just like, eh, like, it's I don't know. Too ridiculous, too stupid. <laughs> well, not necessarily, because I know going into this movie, like, I, I know what they're doing. It's exactly doing... it's it's Zach Sanders. Really yeah, and it's supposed to be, be ridiculous, and it, they're doing a Las Vegas heist during a, an apocalypse. It's, like, so ridiculous. So that was cool. Um, the performances were all around really good. Batista was actually a really good lead. Um, but there were certain parts of the movie where I was just like, like, I could tell this is, like, a big-budget movie and has great effects and everything like that, but there were certain scenes where I was just like, I feel like I'm watching, like, a direct-to-video low-budget movie. I don't know why. I just had that. <laughs> it was so weird. You know, I figured it out, though. So I don't know if you heard about this. There was an actor in the movie that they had to digitally yeah. replace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Chris Delia. Was, yeah, because he was a kind of a creep. So they had Another to replace creep. him, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they had to pull a Kevin Spacey in that one movie with Christopher Plummer where they replaced him. So, like, they had to get this other actress, uh, Tig Notaro. So they shot all her scenes separate. So, like, knowing that afterwards, I was like, oh, I could see. Like, I could tell. Because you could tell her scenes are totally, like, weirdly truncated and put in there. So... That was kind of distracting, um, but I get it though. You, you know, um, isn't it two and a half hours too? Does it, does it, do you feel the runtime? Yeah, so that's another thing. Everybody was saying oh, it's so long. Now, honestly, I don't think I felt the runtime, but I was over at my friend's house. Me and Rob watched Rob, it. Yeah, we had really fun with it. You know, <laughs> yeah. it, so I think that was actually kind of good that it was longer, so we can keep enjoying this thing. It didn't end so quickly, so I didn't mind the runtime. Um, but my biggest issue really was one character in particular. I won't say who, uh, you'll probably figure it out when you watch it, but it's a female and she does stupid decision-making and it's just yep, annoying. I've, I've heard the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm just like, uh, really, did you have to do that? Um, but the way the movie concludes is, is interesting. Um, but yeah, overall I'd give it like an eight out of 10. It wasn't like amazing, amazing, but I really enjoyed it. And Zack Snyder, should make more zombie movies because he did the Dawn of the Dead remake, which was awesome back in 2004. Wasn't that with James Gunn too? Um, was it? Was James Gunn involved in that? I don't even remember. I think so. I got to check that. Um, but yeah, I want him to do more zombie stuff because it's interesting. Like he doesn't have to do just comic book movies. Like he can do other things. Um, but yeah, eight out of 10, I think. Right, like um, fair grade. Uh, can we try this audio version? Cause like I hear you, but then your actual camera freezes. You go, but then it'll like cut. Oh, it so freezes. I think we should. Oh, no, like weird. I hear you, but like the actual video freezes. It's weird. I'm gonna oh. see if maybe, yeah, maybe the audio version helps. Okay. Is my internet? Because we we actually this morning my internet was acting up, so maybe it's acting up right now. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was like good by now because everything's working again. So I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. It's... Am I good? Like, would were you seeing me fine? Yeah, I'm not having any problems with you. Okay. Maybe I well, maybe I, mean, I was the one. Who I froze. could. I it's you so uh it, it's fine it's just on my end it looks okay. like it's freezing yeah if it gets bad or something let me know we can always just switch it like maybe when we when i edit this it's gonna look like shit so i'm gonna have to just make it audio only you know <laughs> um but yeah i would definitely recommend the movie um it was really fun i kind of wish it was a little more ridiculous you know i mean i don't mind the drama and the seriousness that was in it yeah. um but mm-hmm. you know i kind of prefer maybe a more silly movie because that's what it was looking like but yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm ending the cookie debate with facts and logic again. Let's see this. Again? Yeah, again. Oh, Chips Ahoy? Chips Ahoy, yeah. Oh, you know, I mentioned uh, in that historic podcast, I was like, I kind of prefer uh, softer cookies. And I didn't know that Chips Ahoy actually made soft ones. So mm-hmm. there you go. I found that out recently because um, <laughs> we had some at the house and it was really good. So, yes, uh, I think you're right. Chips Ahoy wins. Yeah, James Gunn did the screenplay of the Dawn of the mm-hmm. Dead remake. Okay. And Scooby-Doo movie. Of course, dude. <laughs> the Razzie Award winning screenplay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's his best work. Yeah, Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, forget about it. It's all about the Scooby-Doo's. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, what else is coming out soon? Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, no, I did watch. I watched two things. They're not new, but they're older. Uh-huh. Um, I, I watched Saw in 4K. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh. After seeing it for so, after not have seen seeing it for so long, it it still is good. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks good on 4K. You can definitely see the difference. Um, yeah. It's not like fantastic. I don't think as many a lot of other people say, but I still think it's good. Um, and then I watched uh, Saw Two. 
Oh, for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. It's, uh, I, yeah, the story that I can see where it might get convoluted because it's like, well, yeah, no, these characters are coming back. And um, <laughs> I hear like the first three is like, it's kind of its own little mini trilogy in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I have to watch the, the third one. Um, but yeah, the traps in the second one, they're still cool. Uh, I like, uh, obviously, it's um, like a, like a, what I like about this one is that it's kind of like a bunch of people trying to figure out how to move on through like a different, like a house or whatever, whatever yeah. it was. Instead of the first one, they're kind of like a one location. And um, I know that's kind of what, what Jigsaw is like, isn't it? Isn't it like a bunch of people kind of going through like a house or something like that? Um, yeah, it's similar. But this one, they're more free to do what they want and walk around the whole premises. Like Jigsaw, they were kind of restrained. But uh, that's yeah. a while off. You, you have a while to get to. That's like the eighth movie. So There's the cool needle trap. Uh, oh yeah everyone knows about yeah yep. I, that one didn't really get me as much i, I hear it gets some certain other people i think i'm just not like oh that's something i'm wondering did anything in this one bother you no like, okay no, no, no. none of them <laughs> in the first one or the second one none of them bothered me um, okay yeah yeah but i like with the first one like a detective like the traps are kind of just there like it's not the story isn't about the traps like i know mm-hmm. I'll, i hear a lot of the other ones when you get like just all about traps yeah um, this one is kind of about the story which i liked um so yeah, uh, I'm continuing the saw marathon, so I stop being a little bitch and get used to the saw. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, uh, they're pretty good. I got I got to get the. the um, I, I watched the second one. It was on a like a on demand thing, uh, so I'm probably gonna get the Blu-ray for that one and third one because I think I think it's in June. They're having like a re-release of all the saw movies on Blu-ray. Slip covers, yeah. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna get those. Okay. Um, because I thought about getting the eight movie collection, but like since I already have the first one on four K, might as well just individually. The individual. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Like if they do a four K for each movie, I don't know if they will, because it costs a lot of money to do that. But if they yeah. do, I will straight up buy each one again. Like I'll do it. Even yeah. the bad ones. <laughs> I don't know if they would do that for Jigsaw. Did the first Jigsaw movie get a four K release? Yeah, Jigsaw actually did get a four K because that yeah. was a newer movie. So yeah, it did. Um, and obviously, Spirals are probably gonna get a four K. Oh yeah, can't wait for that. I'm sure that one's gonna look really cool too. Whatever artwork they choose. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the Saw movies, like the first three, are considered the best by pretty much everybody. And then also Saw Six, like those four are the better ones um so yeah i think you'll like the third one too it is like a the first three is pretty much like its own little trilogy um but they do continue after that obviously but you Mm -hmm. could just watch the first three and be done if you wanted to so yes definitely watch them isn't isn't wasn't saw 3d changed to saw the final whatever yeah because instead of calling it saw 7 which they should have they wanted to market it oh it's 3d we're gonna do this 3d gimmick because they want to make as much money as possible because you know 3d tickets cost like what like way more so um they literally just started calling it saw 3d and then the movie it did okay at the box office but like once they put it on home media they started calling it saw the final chapter so they kind of did like a like trek 4 remember it's called trek forever after and then they put it on dvd it was called trek forever after the final chapter like they wanted to add that so yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah i hope they release all the shrek movies on 4k dude um, I'm I, I i love um the fourth one i like the one with um rumple skills rumple stills out of i don't know uh, yeah. rumple stiltskin yeah <laughs> that was possible for that one i think i watched it at a drive-in or something like that and i just remember just i don't know I just have a spot spot for the fourth one, so I want that one on 4K. Just and also the Do the Roar in 4K. Like, how could you yeah, not want that Dolby Atmos? Yeah, let me get that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, uh, I've yeah. I've only seen that movie like twice, maybe. I have to really give that one another chance. Um, but yeah, dude, yeah. they better put 4Ks out for all of them because I'm gonna need to do more Shrek videos. I mean, come on. I have a Shrekening video coming out, by the way. Do you really? Yeah. Oh my god. Wait. So it, you're gonna. Uh, Go ahead. I guess it's a spoiler. I wasn't even tell you till I released it, but I did get a four a four K of uh, Shrek. Oh, okay, and, the slip cover. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's, I I have to. I'm including it in the plot. The reason why it has it. Uh, but there's I bought it and they gave it to me and I was like, okay. I bought the store and I didn't see it at the time, but I walked out and I was in my car looking at it and there's like a kind of like a little line going down. It's like barely you get to really look to see it, but it's like a little line going down the middle of the the slip cover. Um, that kind of was. A little upsetting and i opened it and it's like a little piece came out but it's like it's per- it's perfectly fine like it it is like nothing wrong with it but it's like i don't know what the piece came from so something's broken in there but i can't tell 
You know what it is? Yeah. I think you went to the same Best Buy I went to, and you saw all those dead bodies in there. And oh, like, yeah, right, 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 right. You couldn't yeah. bear to see that. So, like, you just grabbed whatever version and just ran out. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not just a Shrekening. It's <laughs> a mix of two different things. Okay. I mean, I'm excited either way. Is that coming this week sometime, maybe? Uh, yeah, I just need to film it. It's a kind of a little bit of a complicated filming because I'm trying to figure out the right place to do it, if it would even make sense, or if I can't find a place, how to incorporate that into the plot. <laughs> uh, but uh yeah i do have a shrekening coming uh oh, i'm excited I, I'm i'll so give excited. you a little i'll give you a little hint of what the video is going to be i'll give you the title are you, are you ready for it okay yeah shrek from the book of wannabe comedy oh my god that's so good <laughs> oh is he yeah. gonna be like jigsaw he's gonna put you in a trap like <laughs> <laughs> you have to find out you have to find out jig shrek yeah oh, jig <laughs> Trick Sh okay i'm using that <laughs> jig shrek <laughs> uh, that's so good awesome yeah, so i have one coming out so you can look forward to that yeah and honestly if they do a shrek 2 i'm sure they do a shrek 2 because shrek 2 is like a great movie so like and it made a lot of money so like i'm sure they would do a 4k of that but like i don't hope they wait a couple years like i want them to do it now because like i want to make another one <laughs> yeah yeah uh, <laughs> that's so good i'm so hyped for your video though like i'm yeah. glad we're all piggybacking off each other like like tony stark did a shrek unboxing throwing jokes in there he didn't do like a whole thing like i did but it's nice that we're doing this <laughs> yeah uh did um when is the 20th anniversary of shrek 2 is it like, a couple uh, years from now 2004 was when it came out so 2024 yeah i don't want to wait that long yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean i could just make another thing it doesn't have to be an unboxing i could just do another but I the don't rare know. vhs of shrek 2 uh is there a rare vhs of shrek 2 i know vhs stopped around that time because like i remember there was a freddy versus jason vhs tape and that came out in 2003 but i feel like that's when it stopped because like there was never you can, get... you can get a shrek 2 hd dvd i actually don't have any hd dvds i kind of want one it even though i couldn't play again. it it happened again it closed oh what happened can you hear me can you hear me or no? Hey, hello. Okay, this is <laughs> technically. Oh, there you are. Yeah. yeah can you hear okay. me or no? Yeah. So I, I think that I like I think the uh, the video is like kind of over. I think it's too much. I think we're gonna cut to audio. All right, guys. So sorry for the technical difficulties. We're gonna have to end the video. So I think my internet it, it gave me a message. It says my internet connection's unstable. <laughs> like me, <laughs> I'm unstable. Okay, let me stop the video. Yeah, I mean, I, the people who are listening on Spotify and Apple could be like, what, the, what is yeah. going on? <laughs> the YouTube viewers, uh, yeah, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I was saying we should get the uh, HD DVD for Shrek 2. Yeah, um, I don't know. Are those worth anything, by the way, HD DVDs? Uh, yeah, HD DVD is probably the ultimate format, the best way of viewing and watching movies. <laughs> no i mean like are they rare like if you have one like could you sell it for like a hundred bucks <laughs> i don't know actually i don't know if you even, I, I don't know i have no idea i know the i think there's a dvd for the first transformers movie which came out in like 2007 um, yeah i remember that was like uh, around the era yeah yeah like that time period like 2006 2007 was when blu-ray first came out it was blu-ray versus hdvd i remember being in one of the stores and seeing yeah i know little little kiosks for both of them i'm like oh what are these things yeah i did a documentary about it for my class oh nice yeah i think it's even on youtube i think the person i did it with posted it. i need to find i'd it. love but, to see yeah that. i did docu yeah i did a documentary about it and uh, it was pretty crazy because like it, because we were t we presented it to my class and no one knew what we were talking about <laughs> oh really <laughs> we're like yeah they're like what blue what what the, I, D I just know what a dvd is <laughs> wow um, yeah we're talking yeah it's old times yeah um yeah. i'd love to see that though that'd be so funny uh yeah i'll try to send you the link later on I yeah find it. but um, uh yeah i mean um i don't know like if like the comparison like i never watched an hd dvd like obviously blu-ray is either. amazing but like yeah i don't know um but 4k is the way to go now obviously yeah so and until like we get to uh shrekening 8k remastered 60 frames per second yeah it's like how many times <laughs> do i have to buy that movie oh my god <laughs> another best buy oh no <laughs> like i already took a bullet for this one like dude i can only take so many bullets <laughs> not for shrek 
Shrek, <laughs> Shrek has an infinite, uh, infinite ammo. Yeah, ammo crates. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, what else to talk about this week? I'm trying to think. Oh, so I'm going on vacation soon. Thank God. I'm, dude. I'm like dying of impatience. Like I just want to go on vacation. It's almost been two mm-hmm. years. Uh, just monotonous. Forty hours of work a week and no fun. Like pandemic shit it's like ugh. but next two podcasts um we're gonna have to figure that out that's gonna be oh yeah. okay mm-hmm. so i'm gonna be away for the next two mondays um but if the internet's good over there unlike right now <laughs> uh maybe we can do like little short podcasts like i don't know if i'm gonna be busy yeah. every day you know what i mean if i'm not busy then you know yeah we'll do it but we'll see how it goes yeah it'll be the mini podcast yeah, I mean, if anything, you might have to do it solo. I don't know, whatever. I doubt it. I'll do a cameo. I'll do a solo. <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> it's going to be such a weird thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's bound yeah. to happen eventually. I mean, Yeah, it's going to be the On a Tuesday <laughs> episode. On a Tuesday. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. What the big? I don't know. We'll, uh, po- the viewers are going to be just like they're going to get a random notification one day. And like, oh, now is the podcast. Yeah, all five of our viewers. Um, yeah, <laughs> but no, we're getting decent views. Like, I think every video gets about a hundred views, which is pretty yeah. decent. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. Until we get sponsored by MeUndies, then we're going to have a million viewers. Oh my god, dude! I wonder how <laughs> MeUndies are. Like, I've never <laughs> seen use them, so I'm sure they're good. They got to be high quality. Yeah, hopefully a video format by the time so you can just show them off. Oh yeah, dude. Like I'll literally like start changing in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's gonna be rated X. Yeah. It'll be <laughs> so, it'll be the podcast X2. Oh god. Let's go. Yeah. Um <laughs> so yeah, this week I'm gonna continue. Well, I, I'm only gonna, I'm leaving on Friday morning. Um, but I'll try to watch more Wes Anderson. So next week I have shit to talk about. If when, do. Do you, is it the next one you get to Fantastic Mr. Fox? Um, the next one is Darjeeling, Darjeeling Limited. I don't oh, know right, right. Yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah. that one. Yeah. And then and then I think as Mr. Fox after. Yes. So, yeah. I've already seen it, though. I saw that one uh, like a long time ago. So um, and it Grand Budapest matter. Hotel. Yeah. Those two I've watched, but it's been so long. You know what I mean? Like I forgot them basically. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I think I might start the Twilight Saga soon. Oh, God. <laughs> that's going to be fun. I've never seen any of those. Oh, we got, you got, oh, man, as soon as Wes Anderson's done, we got to review it for the podcast. Uh, you making me watch Back to the Future? I'm going to make you watch Twilight. Are you like a Twilight, <laughs> are you like a low-key Twilight fan? I've never seen them except for the first one, and I think the fourth one in theaters, and that's about it. Really? You watched the first one and the last one? <laughs> No, I've seen the first one, and then I watched, I think it was the fourth one, and the and actually, no, I think it was the last two in theaters, and then I watched the first one, but I don't remember anything from the from the ones in the middle. I kind of remember the ending of the last one, and I just remember the beginning of the first, so I'm basically kind of going into this a little new. Wait, are there five or four of them? There's five. Oh, I thought it was four. Oh. Yeah, no, the last one, the last two, I think, is like a part one, part two. Right. Yeah, Breaking Dawn, part one, part two, yeah. Right. But I thought it was twi- Twilight, then New Moon, and then Breaking Dawn. Then Eclipse, and then oh, it's Breaking Dawn. Oh, okay, Eclipse. I forgot about that one. Okay. I've never How seen them. How could you forget about them, Tyler? My yeah, right, dude. Who's breaking master. our hearts? Okay. I, well, my boy Robin, Robert Pattinson. I got to do it for him, right? Yeah. This is the prequel to the Batman. Uh, the prequel to Good Time. Yeah. Which you need to watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still the first one has Paramore in it, so, I mean, that's going to be a, a oh. automatic pull-in. I got you. Yeah, honestly, dude, if any movie used Paris, I would be like, I'm watching it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, Freaky but, used I, Paris. But yeah. Oh, it does? Yeah, they used one of their newer songs, uh, Death on oh, Me. Gotta... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta yeah. get the Blu-ray. Yeah, Freaky was good. I like yeah. It. Oh, is it? I, yeah. I, I mean, because I didn't know, because the trailer of that is like, it could be funny. I don't know. Vince Vaughn, I don't know if he's funny anymore. Oh, yeah, no. Vince Vaughn's, like, really good. Uh, yeah, the guy that did Happy Death Day 1 and 2, he did this one, and it was rated R, so, because those two were PG-13, which kind of sucked, but, I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong, but, like, I wish they were rated R. So, this one, he got to go rated R, which is cool. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been a little bit, I've been a little bit in a horror phase, like, ever since I watched Jigs, I mean, Spiral, I've been kind of in, like, this horror kind of hmm. mood. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's why I watched the first um, the first two Saw movies, I watched uh, Friday the 13th Part 6, uh, like, uh, 
like I think it was like the day after. I think I forgot. I think that's what I forgot to mention on last week's podcast or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I've just been kind of just like watching stuff, listening to horror soundtracks. I don't know. Nice. So wait, um, why part six in particular? That's one of the better ones. I think that was on TV. I think it was on like TV. Uh, and I was just kind of watching it. Dude, I like the, the part. I think that's is. I think it's part six. I just know it's the one where he puts the smiley face on the tree. Yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude. Part six is when they started acknowledging. Okay, dude. This this series is like so ridiculous because like they do a James Bond parody at the beginning. Yeah. Of the movie, <laughs> and he comes back to life with a lightning uh, rod, and then it gets struck by lightning. Dude, it's so ridiculous. And then the paintball mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, I oh, love yeah. part six. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. Have you seen any of the other Friday Thirteenth? uh i've seen parts of the reboot from like 2013 and then i think i watched i know the ending of the first one where he comes up the lake yeah yeah. Bag. yeah yeah i've seen that and that's it um, yeah well actually the last movie was the remake that was in 2009 Dude, oh 2009 it's been, I thought it was it's been 12 freaking years without a jason movie that's so crazy because like they would come yeah, you out think so they would make one yeah you, well i mean I, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but Paramount, like, there's such a huge legal battle with Jason. I don't know if you're aware of this. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like, they, they're, they're like, legally not allowed to, like, do anything. Like, the the video stupid. game is in trouble. The video game's in trouble. And also, like, making mo- – like, it's so complicated. Like, I so how did they release the big box set recently? Like, how that happen? That was a miracle, by the way. Because when they <laughs> announced that, I'm like, how is this possible? Because of all the legal shit. Like, I don't know how it happened, but Scream Factory, they made it happen somehow. Uh, I don't know. I'm just glad they did it. Um, uh, by the way, I, I I don't know if I should mention this. I got I had somebody in my comments of that video recently was talking shit like, oh, I've been waiting months and months for this box and it never came over seven months. And you're a YouTube person. So you get treated special, dude. I doubt <laughs> they watch I your channel. I seriously doubt they know who the hell I am. Dude, oh, you all- did get sent free stuff before, but I think yes. it was like a little independent company. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Big, so yeah. Scream Factory or Shout Factory, they de- they don't know who I am. Paramount knows who I am. They've sent me things before, which is nice. Universal knows who I am. But, dude, I pre-ordered the Friday 13th box set as soon as they announced it last year, okay? So I Makes did sense. it way in advance, and it showed up on time. That's all I did. I swear to God. <laughs> they don't know who I am. I paid full price, <laughs> standard shipping, whatever. Like, dude. And I'm telling this person in the comments, um, normally I don't reply to, like, you know negative comments but in this case i was just i just had to i was like dude i'm i swear to god i didn't get any special treatment and then they reply back yeah sure you're giving me a bunch of bs so i just said you know what i'm done with you i don't care (laughs) um so if you guys want to go read that in the comments of that video go ahead but (laughs) it's annoying dude honestly like (laughs) (laughs) i I think i might troll the comment i don't know I put something stupid up like, yeah, he, I, I know him. He didn't get it. Through, through my, I did. I got it like the day it came out. <laughs> oh, did I you got, read like, it? No, I haven't yet, but I might just put something like that. Just for shits and giggles. Yeah. You can tell this person has some issues once you read their comment. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, so actually I wanted to bring this up too. Uh, the lighthouse is technically a horror movie and you love that. So that's cool. Um, yeah. But a 24 does some really cool horror. Have you seen, the witch and midsummer and hereditary i have seen the witch okay. i have seen hereditary and i've seen midsummer okay nice nice i just yes. wanted to make sure those are like the essentials for me what they i have the witch on blu-ray i don't have the other two but i plan on it hereditary i actually just watched not too long ago um and uh yeah it kind of was uh an experience for sure because <laughs> i was gonna mention dude like when you were talking about how spiral kind of messed you up but, like i wanted to me- like be like yeah well dude like movies mess with me too like hereditary i i can't watch that movie that often like i it will mess with me just don't put your head out when you're driving basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i always tell people the way to watch that movie is by yourself at in night the dark time, in the dark watch yeah. it that way and you have some balls i'm telling you <laughs> dude uh, i couldn't imagine watching that movie in a theater Jesus oh Christ. man that probably was oh, oh damn especially not knowing what happens like oh my god yeah dude that yeah. movie fuck we're me. gonna go to our meet and greet and we're gonna be like all right we're gonna play some of our videos on the big screen but really just gonna play hereditary oh right god <laughs> yeah yeah so okay yeah so i just wanted to mention that hereditary messed with me i want to say the exorcist messed with me the first time i saw it mm-hmm. um i don't yeah. know why but stuff that involves like like satanic stuff it always like gives me like a weird feeling when i'm watching it 
I'm always like, Ugh. yeah, like anything that's like realistic or has cults or anything like that, yeah. or worshiping the devil, like that messes with me because you know that could happen. So it's yeah, like, oh my yeah. god, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like midsummer is so effective because that's like in oh, broad daylight, but the, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Although I mean, I'm thinking uh, for if we ever get a budget for the sh- for the podcast, we should use advice in bear suits. Ooh, for the one, for, <laughs> we're just being it for the one podcast. Like not oh, even acknowledge okay. it. We're just gonna be in bear suits. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just wearing it. Don't even mention it once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. So, what would you say is the movie that's like messed with you the most ever that you watched? Oh man, that's a tricky one because I really have to think about this. Uh. What is a movie that really fucked with me? Um, I don't have the answer out of it. Do you what? Do you have any specific ones besides those ones? Um, I mean, I guess it's just those. I mean, I, I would say Midsummer kind of messed with me a little bit, but not as much. Um, let me see here. I'm looking at my. Well, the first time I ever watched the Scream movies, I was really young. Those really terrified me. Oh yeah, I, I when I was doing the Chucky movies, terrified me. Uh, but I'm trying to think of like now that I'm like, like I'm older and I understand things. Like what still wasn't an older person uh, mm. affected me. What but Chucky movie was it? It was the Bride of Chucky and the creepy ass kid from the Seed of Chucky. Oh, okay. I know those are like the, I know those are the corny ones, but like just seeing those as like younger because I feel like they were gonna like actually be real because like they look real, so like they're <laughs> actual props. So I feel like the props right. became in life because uh, isn't there a part? I think I, I vividly remember a specific scene where like they're part of a movie and mm-hmm. they still end up becoming like a real thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that part, and I was like, oh my god, they're coming for me. Yeah, see to Chucky. Yeah, it's like Chucky goes Hollywood, basically. So like they're doing a movie <laughs> with Chucky within a movie, sort of in that one scene. Yeah, yeah that is kind of creepy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, just wondering. Yeah, but, but the Scream movies, like, oh my god, because like it's a dude in a mask. It could be anybody, and it's scary. And he uses a voice changer, and he pops up in your house and starts chasing you. It's like, oh my god. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and they're making a Scream Five, which is cool. Yeah, I know. I'm excited for that. Yeah. The guys that um, did uh, Ready or Not. Well, I wonder what happened to uh, uh, the Scream movies. Like, is, is parody movies dead now, kind of, in a way? Oh, Scary Movie? Oh, yeah. yeah. I like, love what happened to those parody movies? I love those, the first four. Like, the fifth one was just, eh, whatever. It didn't have Anna Ferris or whatever. Uh, but I love the first four Scary my Movies. My favorite of all, like, the parody movies is Superhero Movie. I have it on Blu-ray. Like, yeah. I, that's just one is my favorite. Is you know what Spider-Man? that was? That was, was like a Spider-Man. whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That had like all the, like, oh my god, all the different superhero things in it at the time. Because that was such a thing in the two thousands. Was all the parody movies. I think we sort of outgrew that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now yeah. we're kind of like satire, dark humor in that kind of era. Yeah, um, yeah, and cheap ripoffs. Like you know, like uh, you know that company, The Asylum. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Everybody's just doing like a ripoff of everything. They're not doing parodies anymore. Like Meet the Spartans and all that shit. Oh, oh my god. I love that one. <laughs> oh, I had the Hungover Games. I yeah, I yeah, yeah. that one. I seen that one. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, I'd like to see them do another scary movie. That'd be interesting. Uh, in this day and age, like Scary yeah. Movie Two is probably my favorite one. That one's so many funny moments. The Scary Movie Two. Yeah, I watched the superhero movie when I was younger so i guess that was the right demographic for it just an immature little, little yeah weenie so uh <laughs> yeah I, I i still have memories watching that because i don't know if i was like you know there's like a it's not like raunchy it's pg-13 but like there's like a little you know how scary mm-hmm. movies are like those little moments where i was like oh should i be watching this even yeah. though I, I mean i did go watch kick ass in theaters but uh <laughs> yeah um I want, I, I'm uh, man. I wonder if they like if we're ever gonna see like another parody movie. I'm like, sure an actual big release one. Oh, big release! I don't know. Like uh, Scream or you know, I mean not Scream, scary movie, you know. Right. Um. I mean, who knows? Like, oh, they did some a couple years ago, the haunted house ones. Those are. Oh right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, it's not totally dead, I guess. Um. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it was so common back in the 2000s, like freaking uh, everything every, had a parody. Maybe. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, we, there needs to be like the right person to make them. You know what I mean? Like Jordan Peele, for example, is like a great person to do these weird surreal horror movies. And like if they find a specific like comedian to do like parody ones or something, like I don't know. I was surprised how much of a of a comedy Us was. Like that. Like I was oh, expecting humor? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the F the police scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, I love. I don't know if he's doing another one right now, but dude, I don't think he is doing one. I think it involves like a superstore or something, or like a Walmart type place or whatever, or something like that. Let me look that up. I mean, A Quiet Place Two comes out next week, which I'm excited for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I should. You're gonna be on vacation though. Are you gonna still watch it? Well, we're actually thinking about because Universal Studios, there's a movie theater um, oh. attached to the outside part, right, um, right. the City Walk area, whatever mm-hmm. it's called. So we might go see a movie there. Um, we've never been in that theater. We've always passed it a thousand times. We've never been in there. It's an AMC. Yeah, yeah, they have the same thing here in California. Yeah, we should probably yeah see that. <laughs> That'll be a good idea. We could talk about it on the podcast. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let me look up Jordan Peele. What he's doing. I know he worked on uh, Lovecraft Country, didn't he? Which I love that show. It's just an untitled film. 2022 release, so next year. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that guy's really cool. Like, people you wouldn't expect to do, like, a really cool horror movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Eternals trailer came out today. Oh yeah, 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 totally forgot. Because I was like thinking, because a... I was like thinking horror movies, and I was like, oh yeah, John Krasinski. You wouldn't think, and I was like, he's also like Fantastic Four. Wait, Eternals, yeah, <laughs> the Eternals trailer came out today. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that was. Oh, what do you, th- you think of the trailer? I mean, it was just a teaser, but it was kind of lengthy for a teaser, which was nice. But yeah, yeah it, I mean, I like the song I, choice, the cinematography. <laughs> holy crap, oh man, holy yeah, crap. yeah, Chloe Zhao, who just won Best Director for Nomadland which one best picture she's doing this movie so you know like in terms of like the quality it's going to look really good um mm-hmm. and be well directed so i mean i don't know shit about these characters so like i'm going to go into the story line and yeah i mean i have high hopes though like at this point marvel's not going to screw up i don't think and she's a good person to lead this so yeah it looks nice also tomorrow the trailer for edgar wright's new movie last night in soho comes out oh yeah i heard about that I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Love Edgar Wright. Yeah, that one's got Anya Taylor Joy, and she picks great projects. I will say, New Mutants was a good choice for her. She was the best one in that, <laughs> even though people don't like that movie. Um, yeah, uh, I like Glass too, and obviously uh, Split. Split. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She picks good stuff. The Witch. Um, I forgot. Did you like Glass? Did you think it was good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I don't recall. Did I do a review? No, I didn't do a review. I, I did, did like a mini. I did like a mini thing on my Instagram. Like I post. I used to do this thing where I'd see a movie, I would take a picture of the ticket, and do like a short little. Yeah, I remember video. that. Yeah, I think I did one of those on my Instagram. I got, I'd have to scroll back and find that. Um, but no, I did like Glass. The ending was. I mean, I was expecting a crazy ending. It's M Night Shyamalan, the Ding Dong. So he always does that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was really shocking though. This one, like, dude. I mean, we can talk about it everybody's seen it at this point yeah two years but everybody dies so it's like dude <laughs> holy crap um <laughs> but i thought it was good i really liked it you yeah. like glass right yeah i do like glass yeah yeah gold ending though yeah i got it on 4k yeah it looks really nice Ooh. and that man that was one of the biggest regrets i had i didn't buy the steelbook because it was you bought the story. Yeah, the, the shitty, the shitty uh, <laughs> card thing that doesn't. Who do you have as the cover? Who do you have as the cover for that, by the way? Oh, Sam Jackson. I just oh. to. It's his movie, technically. So, because Unbreakable is Bruce Willis's movie, Split is James McAvoy's movie, and then this one's supposed to be his movie. So, I put him as the cover. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I I regret not buying that steelbook, dude. It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh well, <laughs> I don't know why they did that though. Fucking Target, they didn't put the 4K <laughs> in there. Like, ugh. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna do a deep dive in my Instagram and go find it. Yeah, I don't think anyone really buys the digi books necessarily for Target because every time I go, I'm always see. I literally still see like digi books for Ralph breaks the internet in there and like. Oh yeah, yeah no those one those these. ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I remember back in the day, Target used to have the coolest exclusives. Like I have this Pirates of the Caribbean one. It mm-hmm. had like a Lego Black Pearl and like, dude, it's so mm-hmm. cool. Like I still have it. Um. And they had the Iron Man 2 metal pack, which is beautiful with yeah. the holographic cover. But like nowadays, they get decent exclusives. But it's, it's mainly the, I think they're exclusive for the Digi Books. Best Buy, Best Buy is the steelbook. Uh, yeah. book, and Walmart has like an occasional slip cover. Yeah, here and there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
yeah, but I remember back in the day, like, like I'd always ex- be excited for like the Target ad because you could flip through the pages and see what the exclusive was going to be. This is before, mm-hmm. you know, I would go on Blu-ray.com and stuff and all that. Like I would just be like, kind of go into it blind. Like, oh, is this coming out soon? Like I wouldn't yeah. have an idea. So um, let me try to find the freaking glass. When you move, uh, how are you going to like remember remember which place that each movie goes because you have a lot of movies do you have like a catalog do you like have them written down like what do you how do you remember where each one goes i know like like, 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 i I know when you put them like when when you eventually you move or whatever because you said you would at some point yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, when you put your movies back up on the shelf are you gonna try to remember where each one went like alphabetically or what are you gonna do like well i have them in abc order that's just the way i've always done it oh so you're gonna kind of just put it like in that way in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep it ABC order. The only exception is that I have the Criterion separate, and then I have TV show separate. That's the only, yeah. But I'll just do it the same, ABC order, basically. Yeah, because I, I haven't. I know some people use Blu-ray.com to kind of keep it alphabetically, like which word goes where. Um, and I have like an app that I use. I just have like the poster download. Like I go and download the poster and I put it in the app, so like it has it all kind of alphabetical. Because sometimes I'll be like, I'll be like, does this one go where? Like cause sometimes I'll confuse myself. I'll be like, would like for example like pete's dragging peter pan i was like does pete's or peter kind of oh. cause I, like you know stuff like that mm-hmm. i kind of use that to help me or like if i'm moving somewhere i'll kind of be like which one did i put before which one again and i kind of just use that right um, yeah <laughs> i got you so like what's the proper abc order for certain yeah. titles that are yeah. so close mm-hmm. like the good the bad and the ugly has a comma after good do i put that before good time um uh, or sorry should i put it I'm looking at my shelf right now. I have it after Good Dinosaur, mm-hmm. but since there's a comma, does that mean it goes before it? Like, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> um, I don't count the comma, though, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't usually don't. I usually don't either. <laughs> That's a funny question. Okay, so I have my glass review from January 18th, 2019. So when you put the good, the bad, and the ugly, if, if you say you have a good time, yeah, you put the, would you, like, replace it? Like, would you, you would you continue using the the, or would you, like, just Oh, put... no. So, when you do ABC order, you do not count A, or an, or the. Those do not count. I know in the beginning, but yeah. I mean, like, like after good. Because, you know, there's good, good, the, bad. Yeah, would that counts. Count... Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, good time <laughs> is after it, yeah. Yeah. Because good time is two separate words, even though on the spine yeah, it looks T-I like T-I instead of the T-H is in the. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So... But then there's that whole debate about the comma. Does it mean it goes before good dinosaur? Because a comma goes before D? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I usually don't count the periods or commas or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Some people nitpick. Actually, it does go before it. I mean, I don't know. Dude. Um, anyways, here's my old glass review. Saw hashtag glass last night, and I got to <laughs> say, it was amazing. A lot of reviews have been mixed, but I didn't really have any major problems with the movie. The ending was fucking crazy and will definitely be polarizing for people but it was still a great finale for this awesome trilogy. Great job, M. Knights. Clapping hands emoji. 8.5 out of 10. Okay. (laughs) Six comments. Um, I think people... Yeah, how did you get those... Oh, continue. Someone said, you know damn well you didn't buy an adult ticket. Yes, I did. What are you talking about? They bought that I bought a child ticket? Maybe the the (laughs) college ticket? Because I think, didn't you say before you used to get, like, the discounts? Yeah, I think they used to do that, didn't they? Like a, a college student. Yeah. I don't remember, but I just buy the standard adult ticket. Yeah, it says right on the ticket, adult, $10.29. <laughs> I don't know so what this guy's like... talking about. Um, this comment from 122 weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I always eat that to be like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, this movie is great, whatever, and I'll be like, I'll give it like a like a A-. minus. like, well, if you thought it was so great, why don't you give it an A+. plus? But it's like... It, that's hard to explain because like a movie you can think it's great but like it just doesn't like get like it feel like the a plus you know right does that make any sense so, yeah I don't know I, like yeah your favorite movie of all time would be an a plus so you're like thinking okay what could match that same magic you know what i mean so mm-hmm. like it doesn't quite match that okay a minus you see what i mean like yeah yeah i feel like, so, like a lot of people who don't like re- usually review movies kind of don't get that because i'll be like oh yeah this movie is like I have nothing really negative but like a a minus like where's the a plus that i'm like it just doesn't have that magic or feeling and they're like what feeling what are you talking about and i'm like i don't know <laughs> how to explain it it just isn't an a plus 
Yeah, like I, I would give the first saw, for example, an A minus. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's not if we're being realistic, it's like a real, really like a seven or an eight. But like me, I'm such a fan of it. I'd give it like an A minus, but not an A plus, just because it's not, you know, it's not like it's not the Godfather. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not the Funko Street movie. Yeah, no. dude, it's not that. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um. Yeah, so how is your uh, is the stop motion coming along? Any progress on that? A little bit. Nice. I like yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Do you watch any like sports at all? By the way, I know you're not like a big like you don't. Oh, you, you, you put out that all. uh that Steelers video. That was funny. Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> but I'm just I, I was just asking if you like any sports because I don't I don't think I've ever asked you. No, I'm not I'm not really big on sports. I watch basketball once in a while and I'll watch the Super Bowl, but. I know you were it. wrestling, which is like, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah that's, a that, sport. that's just a show. That's entertainment. <laughs> that's not like a sports sport. I'm not really into sports. Sport. Like, I mean, I like UFC a little bit too, you know, but I don't really like sit down and watch sports. That's not really my thing. But like, I get it though. Like, I totally understand the, yeah. Do you like sports movies? Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. What's your favorite? What's your favorite one? Oh, I mean, it's cliche, but it's Rocky. That's, that's so, yeah. I would say mine is The Sandlot. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sandlot's yeah. in my top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Warrior, um, the wrestler. Um, what else? Oh, I mean, the whole Rocky series. I love all all of them. Uh, uh, Rocky. Yeah, yeah, all those two. Yeah, Creed one yeah. and two. And I was gonna say Rocky five sucks, but I still love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm Miracle with Kurt Russell, the hockey movie. Love that one. Um, what are the other ones? Uh, I'm trying to think of like a basketball one uh, besides Space Jam. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best. Band. <laughs> and and uh, Air Bud. Uh, <laughs> that's the true b- sports movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there are, there's really good sports movies out there. Yeah. Are you excited for Space Jam two, or is it gonna be your IMAX uh... three K one movies? <laughs> Oh god, that movie! Can't um, wait for the out of the theater reaction of that. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna see that. We'll we'll see how it goes. I'm sure excuse you're gonna me? see it. I feel excuse, like you're you're definitely gonna see me? that. <laughs> oh god. Um, I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to the podcast if I didn't go and watch Space Jam. Exactly, <laughs> a new legacy. Oh my god, I, I cannot wait for the day that me and you are gonna watch the Boss Baby two because it's coming out this year so like it's it you're all I, I you're almost at the the subscriber milestone you need so you're gonna watch that you're gonna have the full context and uh, once you have the sequel to watch and i'm so excited to see your out of reaction review because it's gonna be just you going into the theater <laughs> to watch the boss baby and i cannot wait to see that i didn't think about that yeah i am probably gonna have to see that you're right oh god fucking boss you'd be the baby. only one there you're gonna be like yeah oh, like one adult take you to the boss baby please whole theater to myself wow <laughs> no 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 you're like oh sorry sir it's a little packed you have to be be a yeah tight in with the, some sit on kid. the steps yeah sold out full like, i don't care i'll do whatever it takes to watch the boss God, baby when, did, when does that come out i don't know i'm i'm counting down the days let me see i need to put this on my calendar <laughs> count down the days <laughs> uh spider-man boss no way home has got nothing on that yeah boss baby too comes out september 17th damn it Oh, I'm definitely going to have yeah, the 12K by then. Uh, so I'll watch the first one and then. Yes. Uh, God. <laughs> it's going to be released in Dolby too. That's what it says here on Wikipedia. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the way you got to watch it. Oh, my God. Who pays a ticket to see Boss Baby and Dolby? I will. I will. I will vlog the entire experience too. Oh, God. Hans Zimmer does the music. What? Yeah, he did the first, the first one. We first uh, did the music. Oh, I see. Uh, Jeff Goldblum's part of the cast. Uh, that reminds oh, me. The Jeff, second one, yeah. Jeff Goldblum was in uh, Life Aquatic. Uh, Wes Anderson. He yeah, was fantastic in that. I forgot about to mention him. Yeah. Ah oh, man, I guess I'm seeing this movie. God. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna walk out there, like you're gonna be like, you're gonna turn your camera. The video's gonna start. And like, hey guys, just got the boss baby. Uh, it was a ten <laughs> out of ten movie. <laughs> Like the Dolby ticket, I forgot how much it was, but it's kind of pricey. So, like, dude, I'm gonna spend that money to watch that. Uh, all right, <laughs> do it for the meme. <laughs> I mean, you got Shrek on 4K. Yeah, I did that for the meme. All right. <sighs> ah, boy. And I watched Spiral for the meme. 
<laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm applying and I was like, you know, for the podcast, I go and watch it. I'm, there you yeah. go. Yeah. These little sacrifices for our five viewers. <laughs> for the podcast. Yeah. No, we're going to have a million viewers by then. And they're going to be so, like, they're going to be shaking their boots when they see the notification that says, Tyler reviews the boss, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, oh, my God. I cannot wait for your audio commentary for this. <laughs> audio commentary. <laughs> well, isn't that what you said? Isn't that what you said you're doing? for the? You're doing a reaction commentary for the channel, like the 2000 milestone or whatever? Yeah. So when I hit 12K soon, I'm going to do, I'm going to watch Best Baby somehow, some way, and I will do a full reaction. I don't know if I'm going to like edit it to where like you see it on the screen also. Like I might just do like what I used to do. Like, okay, yeah. hit play right now and then just watch with me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I might do it that way. Maybe I'll edit together like a shortened version with the clips of it. You get two um, separate ones, one for edited, one with just like if you want yeah, to do the whole thing. Yeah. I might do it. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I still don't know how I'm going to watch it, but I'm doing it for the meme, guys. It'll be a fine addition to your collection, Tyler. Oh, you know you boy. want to. <laughs> General Kenobi. Huh. <laughs> yeah. That's that might be the, that might beat the Shrekening. It might beat the no, I doubt it. I mean, <laughs> that one had theatrics and stuff. Um, yeah, this one, this one has the boss baby, though. Ah, God. <laughs> Why is this a movie? What is this? <laughs> this is the first opening. I can't wait to see reaction to that. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Like, I don't, I don't know anything. I just know it's freaking Alec Baldwin's a baby and he's a boss. That's all I know. Like, I don't know anything. Uh. He's the boss. Mm-hmm. Oh, they put out an image. I'm scrolling through yeah. uh, Facebook right now. There's an image of Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland for Uncharted. Yeah. They just look like Mark Wahlberg and Tom Hatton. They just look like Uncharted. <laughs> uh, I hope it's good. Please be good. I hope Mark Wahlberg performs like how he does in uh, the, the what's it called? The the happening. Oh, God. He doesn't uh, well, have a mustache. We gotta go find some treasure. Dude, Sully, Sully's supposed to have a mustache. He doesn't have a mustache. I guess this movie's supposed to be a prequel. Like before, how we know them in the games. Yeah, but in Uncharted Three, when he meets Sully, he has a mustache, even when he's younger. <laughs> what? The legend begins. Like how he's on every trailer poster. Yeah. <laughs> uh, please don't screw this up, Marky Mark. <laughs> it's not going to be a good vibration. It will be. Oh boy. Yeah. Did you, yeah, know that, so. did, did you know that cookies are for closers? Cookies are for closers. Yeah. I feel like I've heard that before. What's you that will. from? Oh, I get it. Okay. I already get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of cookie jars and shit. I get it. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm the boss now. <laughs> yeah, we still have our audio commentary for Spider Man 3. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that at some point. Um, I Possibly think we the lighthouse. <laughs> yes, yes, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Um, I mean, like I said, the next two episodes are going to be weird, but maybe yeah. like after that, the first one back, maybe we should do a commentary. We'll yeah. plan it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picturing the Peter Park dancing, Peter Parker dancing, and okay, but unir- I unironically like Spider Man, so you like laughing, and I'm like, this is cinema crying. <laughs> yeah i i do i don't hate spider-man 3 but like i i get the i get why people hate it uh yeah <laughs> we should do also like movies we've never seen before uh, oh, like yeah. get our live take on it yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like both of us like haven't seen a certain thing we should both watch it at the same time we should watch spots uh saw 3d together <laughs> oh boy i'll tear i'll tear that one apart <laughs> oh, yeah i can't wait to see that you're gonna be turning it apart and be like uh uh <laughs> here you going. You're gagging in the background. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, but if anybody listening to this, all five of you, if you have any suggestions for like things to, for us to listen to or watch at the same time for the podcast, leave them in the comments. Yeah, um, that could be fun. Not a fun thing to do. Man, we. Oh, you know what? When you what? watch episode three, uh, Revenge of the Sith, for the first time, I should watch that with you because it's all oh. the memes yeah well attack yeah. of the clones too is pretty dreadful yeah yeah that's probably that would be like a painful we wouldn't want to review it <laughs> for by watching it with us we can we can just do revenge painful <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god what's funny is that my at my old dairy queen job i knew someone who was like big into the prequels like they like i asked him i was like 
do you like the original? It's like, eh, kind of boring. And I was like, what about the new ones? Uh, they're kind of overrated. And I was like, well, what about the prequels? Oh my god, they're so great. And I was like, which really? one's your favorite? And he was like, I love Attack of the Clones. It's the best Star Wars movie. Uh, I was like, oh no, I haven't even seen it. I know that's the wrong answer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had a so friend there's, once. There's people out there who like love Attack of the Clones. Yeah, yeah. Like they actually, like I, there's a lot of things in it I do like, but the overall product just sucks. Like, ugh. But, like, I had a friend, too, that I used to work with, and he said Attack of the Clones was his favorite also. But he didn't trash on it. Disgusted. Yeah, he didn't trash <laughs> the other movies, though. So that was a relief. But I was like, dude, why is Attack of the Clones your favorite? What the hell? <laughs> like, what? Uh, I don't know. People are weird. You know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> but people are weird, man. No, you're, no, everyone's entitled to their opinion. You're normal for that unless it's for Attack of the Clones. Then you, you're just weird. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Um, did you ever watch Goosebumps yet? By the way, um, I have not. Are they good? By the way, the, they are good. Cool. Well, the first one, the first one is great. I think it's it's one I love it. But the second one, it's okay. It's it, it's not as like heartfelt. Like you tell, they they kind of just made it because the first one was successful, and like the first one they made because they wanted to make like a cool Goosebumps movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's not. Like, I mean, I own it on Blu-ray. Like, I've seen it more than once, but it's not, like, great or anything. You'd be like, oh, yeah, Goosebumps too. Let's put that on. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I could... I, I'm a big Goosebumps fan myself. I don't know if you know this, but, like, I'm, like, a gigantic Goosebumps fan. Oh, yeah. okay. That's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I read the books when I was in elementary and middle school, even high school. Mm. uh i grew up with the even though i wasn't born in the 90s i was born in 2002 mm. i still grew up with the show because we'd watch it here um and i liked the movie and the second one is kind of okay so i'm i guess i'm more have like i'm more like oh like i just i'm open to goosebump stuff um yeah. so i don't know if you like like the first one as much as i did but i think it's great i think you'd probably think it's fun <laughs> is it like a meme thing like it's just memes no 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 it's actually like a like a legit thing uh, okay. although I, do, I, I do i do make a joke because like the puppet there's like a puppet in there slappy mm-hmm. and like that's like a funny thing between me and like some family members like oh my god because he just pops up randomly and he's like oh so guys and i'm like it's just funny because like <laughs> puppet okay yeah maybe i would like the first one because i like jack black so yeah uh, yeah and i read some of the books too back in the day but i was never like big anyway, i mean you got the so. best buy exclusive with the book why yeah. didn't you do a live reading to that oh my god <laughs> fireside chat i read the book for you guys on camera yeah. oh god um yeah i'll watch it at some point I, I mean i could anytime so it's in my sister's room i could just be oh like, yeah, yeah let me watch your, sister, your sister has a blu-ray collection like is that like yeah i mean it's mostly collections it's mostly hand-me-downs from like you know like duplicates I, yeah <laughs> yeah but she has her own yes titles that are her own yeah yeah, yeah. like perks of being a wallflower she has that movie I which I, I like that movie yeah it's good yeah mm-hmm. so yeah, I mean, she's got her own small little thing, but yeah, I, I usually, like, give her stuff, like, okay, I just upgraded to 4K, you want the old one? Okay, here, take it, you know <laughs> what I mean? So Yeah, I have the same thing, I'll get, I, although, there's some times where I've, like, triple dipped, and, like, I'm like, who wants to get <laughs> you? Like, uh, like, Iron Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, what's the movie you've dipped the most on? I was thinking Iron Man 2. No, it's, it's, it. it's, no, it's not, it, it, that's not, I've gotten the first Avengers movie, like five or six times really yeah Damn. i got it i had it on standard and then i think i upgraded it to like the 3d version was something like that i think I, yeah i think i got it i think was it I, I don't know i think i had it twice and then i won a copy of it in a competition one time mm-hmm. uh another copy and i think my friend gave me his copy and then I upgraded to the 4K one, and that's the one I have now. So I've had multiple copies of it. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I yeah, a five or six. Jeez, you got me beat. I think Shrek is probably, yeah, fourth time I've had it. I oh, think. same thing with Godzilla. I think I've had that one multiple times as well. Oh, the 2014 Godzilla? Yeah, because the day it came out, I got the DVD, uh, the Target exclusive. Um, mm-hmm. I got the DVD, and then I got the Blu-ray. And then I got it again. I forgot why I got it again. I think because the original copy I had had like a dent in the in the top. Mm-hmm. And so I bought it again for like a good version of it. And then I got it again in, I think it was the combo 
Yeah, it was the combo pack which, that you had to get if you wanted to get the exclusive slipcover for Kong. Mm-hmm. And then I got the Digi book. Oh, the, I mean, not the Digi book, the metal pack, uh, mm-hmm. which I have on my shelf. And then I got it on 4K recently. So that's six times. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, that's two movies that you've bought like five or six <laughs> times. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I think uh, four is my max. Like Shrek, I got four times. And The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, I got that four times. I know that. And I, I, yeah, I think that's it. Just those two. There's certain I'll movies that are crazy triple. expensive because, like, I, the first one was like standard price. The second time I got it, it was, I think, still normal price. But the third time, I think it was like on sale for like $10. Mm-hmm. So that's why I got it. The one where I just got a replacement because the case was messed up on the original Blu ray. And then the third one, which I got, was the one that came in the pack. So, like, I didn't purposely try to buy that one. Um, but even then I, I paid standard price, but I basically got it for free because I paid the full price of what Kong would have been on its own. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the metal pack was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, it was, I don't know why it's like $40 now, but it's, it was 10 bucks at the time. Um, nice. and then obviously the 4k, that was the most expensive. It was right. Like price, but that's cause I got it day one. Cause I had to, cause I mean, it's my fucking favorite movie. And I bet if you're scrolling, scrolling through Best Buy one day and you see the steel book of it, uh, the new one, you're going to buy it. I know you. Yeah, I know. Okay, so <laughs> what was the, what, yeah, okay. So here's the thing: I bought Saw in 4K, and then I saw the Steelbook like the day because I, I, I had gone Best Buy again the second day because I mm-hmm. had to pick up something, and I was like, "Oh, they have the Steelbook here. Should I like return the original one?" But like, I kind of like the how the original one is the slipcover. I was mm-hmm. like, "I'm just gonna keep it." It's like too. I, I I'm like it's not like something I need to like go through a whole mission for because it, it's not like I'm like a gigantic like Saw is my favorite movie ever. Right. I don't need to go trouble. Plus, I love how the 4K is the standard ones. So I don't yeah. need like that like it's pretty i'd probably feel the same way um i might even regret it because i know you wanted the original one too standard <laughs> release 4k yeah yeah like, I'm, I'm happy with what i have i don't i don't need to go through all that yeah i was like really thinking about it i was like should i should i not there's instances mm-hmm. where i don't buy the steelbook like jaws uh last year the steelbook looked yeah. so plain i was just like screw that i'm glad i went with the standard holographic cover it's so nice yeah yeah mm-hmm. And what sucks is, I think I told you this. I don't know if you remember, but uh, the Joker still like I had gotten from yeah. Target, it was a little messed up, which sucks because I had to get the standard 4K, and the 4K is so ugly. It's just all black with his face on it, and I'm like, this kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> so I would have rather much preferred the steel book, but go oh, well. Oh, yeah, that cover where it's him looking straight at you, and it's like half of it's his face, half of it's just black. Yeah, yeah, I know which cover you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The steelbook's cool. I like it. Yeah. Although the Blu-ray, the steelbook I had, it was a Blu-ray steelbook, so I did upgrade to 4K, and luckily it did come with a slipcover, so. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Even though the art's not the best, but it's yeah. a good movie, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I own the vinyl of the soundtrack. Oh, nice. But yeah, that, Bathroom that, Dance on vinyl. The Bathroom Dance. Is that what the track's called? Yeah, it's called Bathroom Dance. Really? Oh, the I bathroom. should download that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I also, uh, it's probably like, um, I ordered Riot. I know it's like my least favorite of the Paramore albums, but I ordered, they had mm-hmm. this cool like limited edition like silver vinyl that came out, and I randomly just got a notification about it. Like this, like I I got lucky. I happened to be checking my email and I refreshed it, and bam, it just popped up right there. And I was like, now like it's available. And I was like, oh crap, that's kind of cool. So I just got it because I, I didn't know how limited it'd be. Mm-hmm. So I, I I got it. So I have it coming in the mail, even nice. though I still think it's not a nine out of ten album, and I still love it. it it's um, I'm probably gonna put it probably up on my shelf somewhere because it'd be it's kind of cool like to just have that up there especially because the cover i like it's, it's pretty cool um, yeah honestly i think that's probably their coolest cover uh, it just yeah. looks so yeah <laughs> there's a lot going on mm-hmm. yeah um yeah i mean vinyls are freaking uh, crazy like I so wanna get i want to get the first paramore i mean paris uh, album on vinyl like i'm dying to get that one I yeah i love how hard it is to get um i don't know if it's too hard uh but i love how that one sounds on vinyl like it's i don't know why that one in particular it sounds really cool on vinyl yeah it's a good one to get you have a you have like a decent vinyl setup don't you like speakers kind of connected to it and- well i have like generic speakers so it's like you know i mean they sound nice but they're just generic so i'm like always thinking like okay what I, i've had people leave comments on the video telling me which ones to get i should look into that yeah um but no, I don't have like anything fancy. You have like a fancy. What kind of player do you have? Ugh, gonna, I'm gonna get a bunch of hate comments. For I have one of those portable suitcases. Uh, no. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and I already scratched one record on it, which sucks. Uh, um, but I mean, I it's worked fine, but it's not great. I need to get it a good one. Huh. <laughs> I got yeah. it for Christmas because I've been wanting it. And I was like, oh man, but it's all right. You know, I'm just gonna use it, and and it's fine. It just doesn't sound that great, and it's already scratched one thing, so it's uh, I need to upgrade it. What did it scratch? Uh, it scratched one of my. It's a band called Cage the Elephant. It was yeah. one of my. Yeah. It. it their best album, my my I think it's like my favorite album of all time. It ended up getting scratched. Oh, so. damn. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get a an audio technica. That's the best brand. Yeah, yeah. My uncle was like a big record guy, so I was gonna ask him which one's the best one. But now you're saying audio technica, I might go with that one because I hear it's good too. I've seen things on that one. What was he saying? I think yeah. he said the same thing, the audio technica. Okay. Yeah, just get yeah. the cheapest one. Like there it's any model they make is good. So just get the cheapest one. You know what I mean? Like I have yeah. like a a, like the second or third one up or whatever but it, it's nothing too crazy but yeah. it sounds nice like it's beautiful it's oh it's beautiful mm-hmm. yeah <clears throat> yeah uh, i mean when i have i mean when we have to get the boss baby soundtrack on vinyl <laughs> <laughs> right oh they probably do make that don't they <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you ever go to uh like barnes and noble they have a vinyl section there's a lot mm-hmm. of movie soundtrack ones in there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I think they had Joker once. I gotta, I gotta get. They that. did, they did. I seen that. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I was gonna say, what is your speaker setup? I'm assuming it's coming straight from the freaking portable thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I just made everyone cringe right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so somebody in the comments was saying Audio Genie or Audio Engine. Man, I read that so wrong. Audio Engine. <laughs> I thought it was Audio Genie. <laughs> Audio engine is great, but a bit pricey. Okay, so that's one. Um, who else? Said, let me see here. Clip show. I don't know how you say this. K L I P S C H R fifty one PMs. It's a preamp and amp built in. I gotta look these up. They probably cost like a bajillion dollars. Oh my god! Did you hear that? It's a loud. Uh, it's a loud car. Do you hear that? I heard some noise in the background. I thought that was my. Get- no, I don't. Ge- okay, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant here. I don't understand why people think loud cars are cooler. I don't get it. I don't get it either. They're obnoxious and like stupid. I don't get why. Like, a uh, cool car should be how it looks. Why does it got to sound all loud? Wouldn't it be cooler <laughs> if it was quiet, like you could barely hear it? That'd be kind of cool. Absolutely. Why would you want a purposely loud car that's so annoying and tacky and just ruins everyone's lives? And ah, <laughs> uh, like, don't you know that we're really making a podcast here? Yeah, right. Come on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, but still, I just, still, I think loud, loud cars are stupid. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get the appeal of having a loud car. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, I get what, making your car look fancy and having a yeah. cool sound system and all that stuff, but I don't get, like, the loud engine thing. Like, what? I, it's <laughs> stupid, dude. <laughs> like, I think Bill Burr did a rant on that on his podcast. Like, I, was, I listened to his podcast, like, religiously. And I think a couple months ago, he was – ranting about that and it was so hilarious he's like what is the fucking point like you're trying to prove you have a big dick or something like yeah it's so weird i don't know <sighs> people are strange like i said earlier <laughs> dr strange the most worse than this oh dr strange in the multiverse of coolest title ever <laughs> oh boy um yeah so let me look up those speakers these people are recommending costs an arm and a leg doesn't it okay i mean probably Clip speakers, clip shay, clip shay. Ooh, four hundred seventy dollars. <laughs> Yikes! Let's not look at that. Damn, <laughs> these are nice looking though. They got like a bronze color on the actual speaker part. Wow, these look really nice. Best Buy has them. Yeah, let's. I'm definitely. They have the computer speakers by that brand. Those cost a hundred dollars. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stop looking at those. Let me type. In- <laughs> Audio engine, the other one. Audio engine. Oh, so you said you're going to be on vacation for about two weeks, right? Um, it's eleven. Oh, it's ten nights technically. I think. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, in two weeks, I have. I'm going to Disneyland. I think it's in two weeks. So, like, it'd be cool because they're like on our big, like our normal podcast again. We could talk about like our vacations, or whatever. Oh so cool. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what day are you going? Do you know? It's June fifth. Oh, we intersect. We intersect. Yeah, yeah we're both going to be away yeah oh okay yeah because june 7th is a monday we're both gonna be away so that'll be fun <laughs> yeah so june june 7th we'll be able to wait 
are you still going to be here for are you going to be like back to normal by june 7th to the podcast no or is that like so, you're gone? so the next two mondays are may 31st and june 7th those two mondays i'm going to still be in orlando so oh okay. yeah that's what i'm saying the set june 7th one you're also going to be away right uh, I mean, yeah, so we might have to do the podcast probably the next day or something. I don't yeah. know. We'll figure it out. If we can somehow find like 30 minutes to free up, like it doesn't have to be a long episode. We'll just do a quick one or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't oh, know. no, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be here. I'm just going to be gone on that weekend. Oh, you're just yeah. going Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? No, just literally just Saturday. Oh, okay. So you'll be back. I thought you were taking like a vacation vacation. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. Got you. Okay. I wish. Shit. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> If I had a million dollars, probably Disney prices. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, we wanted to get like because we bought annual passes for Universal. I think I I explained the whole reason why we did that last yeah week, weeks ago. But we're thinking about going to Disney again because we haven't been there in ten years. So like we, we, December break, we might go. Um, mm-hmm. And we're thinking about getting annual passes, but they're not selling them right now, so we don't know how much they cost. Mm-hmm. They stop selling them because of the pandemic, I guess. I don't know. I mean, Disneyland is doing annual uh, annual passes anymore either. Yeah, like, do, like, do you know how much how much they were? I have no idea. It's probably expensive. expensive. Yeah, <laughs> the Universal one's three hundred, which is actually a bargain, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, well, I still want to get the podcast where you're like literally live on a roller coaster. I mean, I'm tempted <laughs> to like, you know what? Uh, I have a little rant. So right. back on the back in the day, like we would go to theme parks all the time. Like every summer, we would take a vacation. We'd either go to Universal or Disney or whatever. And once in a while, we go to Busch Gardens in Tampa, whatever. Yeah. Like I was such a, a ride alcohol, like not alcoholic, a ride aholic, I guess you could say. Like I love going on rides, even when I was yeah. too short to go on roller coasters. I I cheat and try to get on it and everything. I love rides. Yeah. And the experience kind of sucks now for certain rides because like the Hulk roller coaster, for example, which is one of the best rides ever they have metal detectors now and like you can't bring anything with you on the ride you have to put stuff in lock like it's so <laughs> annoying like why do i have to do this i have to stand in this hour line and not have my phone like i don't get it because they used to have little safety nets wrapped around the the ride so like if you stuff flies out your pocket it'll land in a safety net or whatever mm-hmm. and but if now, your stuff flies out well, then that's on you <laughs> like exactly yeah like i have po- i have pants that have zipper pockets so i just zip it up so nothing flies out you know what i mean so now there's this whole thing. It's like no fun anymore. It's like you can't bring metal detect. Yeah, like they have a metal detector. You can't bring anything on the ride that's metal. You can't. You're not allowed to film on the ride. You'll get in big trouble, I guess. Um, dude, I don't know. Things are just not as fun as yeah. Do you see all these like YouTube? Oh, it's it's coming back full circle. All these YouTube YouTubers get privileges getting to record the roller coaster POV. Yeah, dude, because they're special. Um, nah, dude, more power to them. I wish I was. Probably sneak cameras on and just like they yeah. probably have, like those glasses where it's like the camera, you know. <laughs> yeah the hidden camera inside the glasses the microchip size camera yeah uh, yeah i don't know it's just uh like i don't i don't get that the whole thing like uh, I, I don't want to wait in a line for an hour with no phone that's boring like uh, who, am i going to talk to these random people next to me i don't know <laughs> um yeah i don't know i just remember back in the day things were a lot more cooler you know i understand for security reasons whatever uh um, probably like you got your roller coaster book by phone yeah right but thankfully it's not every ride like only certain rides have the metal detectors like hulk has it um there's hulk other ones too. <laughs> i remember back in the day when i was little i went on the hulk and it started raining really hard like what when the ride started in the middle of the ride <laughs> yeah like if it's raining hard they're obviously not going to run the ride but as soon as our ride started it started raining really hard and i remember the raindrops were hitting me like we're going super fast it felt like bullets were hitting me like if the <laughs> rain was hitting so hard like I don't know. And thunder yeah. was, it was thunder and everything. It was so out of nowhere. It was so cool. Um, yeah. But that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> they want to be extra safe. Yeah. Can't but. get bullets. <laughs> yeah, man. I love rides. I've always loved rides, carnivals, theme park, anything. Like, I just love them. What um, about, what about the game? Like, the games you have to win prizes from? Do you, were you ever good at those? Um, well, those, the, the issue with that is that, you know, when you're a kid, you don't have your own money. So like whatever your parents want to pay for is what you get. So like, though, the, I'd be like, can I play this game? My parents are like, those are ripoffs. We're not playing those. So <laughs> they didn't want to spend their money on that. So I never really played those as a kid, but we went to Coney Island two years ago and I got to play some games and Hey man, I was like, I got to miss out on some fun stuff. Cause I actually ended up winning a few. So mm-hmm. 
yeah, I do like them. I'm just not so used to them. You know, I've only done it like that one time. So I don't know. Did you win anything at a game? I won a big pickle. Like an actual pickle to eat or a stuffed no, animal? No, stuffed animal. <laughs> That's funny <laughs> as hell. You should use that in a video. Oh, yeah. Dude, the Shrekening, that can be Shrek's... Um, Shrek's baby daddy? Shrek's dong. Oh, his <laughs> dong. It has glasses on it and a mustache, though. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, man. I just can't wait, though. Because this vacation, I'm definitely going to be playing all the freaking... Because, like, the Simpsons area has all those carnival oh, games. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, definitely yeah. going to be playing those. When you're at Universal, you got to see if they have any plushes of the baby Shreks or donkeys. Oh, dude. <laughs> You've got... Oh, no. Let's see what you're doing right now. I'm going to buy more props. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, what if they have an even bigger Shrek I could buy? Oh, them? my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's You thought it was Ogre? It's never yeah. Ogre. It's, it fully ascends to ultimate Shrek. Yeah, I think I'm calling the next one Shrek Strikes Back, and it's going to be <laughs> it's gonna be epic. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, this is funny. Yeah, you got to get the baby Shreks. I wonder if they sell those. Oh, that'd be cool. yeah, because I have the whole Shrek store dedicated to the Shrek 4D store. Um, yeah, you know, when you walk out, they have this. Yeah, I'll see what they sell in there. <laughs> <laughs> you can get like PTSD with the Best Buy. Yeah, exactly, dude. Uh, he murdered all those innocent employees and customers at my Best Buy, like <laughs> just for the Shrek 4K release. You know, uh, a little behind the scenes, I was actually tempted to actually go in the Best Buy and be like, hey, can I film a little something in here? Can you like, can you pretend there's like a Shrek in front of you? Like I wanted to do that, but I didn't do it. Oh my God. <laughs> like I, I was tempted to go up to an employee and say, hey, do you want to pretend I'm a Shrek doll approaching you and look scared or something? Like I didn't do it though. I didn't, I didn't say If someone that. ever asked me to do it, I would 100% do it. <laughs> oh yeah, I would absolutely do it. Um, but like, yeah, man, I was tempted to like, man, how dedicated should I be to this? And like uh, play dead or something on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> you should have like had like Shrek go pick up food at a drive through. Should have had like a quick scene where he goes to a drive through. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like speaking his voice and he goes and grab, like, grab it, like using the like the stuffed animal or whatever. I regret not putting him in the car and like having his hands grab the steering wheel, oh, like yeah. a POV. <laughs> I should have did that. Oh my god! Uh, and he goes to the gas station real quick and fills yeah. up the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Gets an oil change. Oh my god! Yeah, the oh. Shrek Strikes Back is gonna be wild, dude. It will be wild because I'm having all these ideas now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, but your video is gonna be wild too, so I'm excited. I don't know how wild. Yeah. We'll see. On a scale of one to ten, how wild is it? I want to make it the like my like if you were to give like a big studio my blooper reel, this video would be my blooper reel. <laughs> so it's gonna be your magnum opus. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be with the opal of of mine of the, the channel. opal. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. I don't know. Hopefully, I can make it like I could like my directorial skills come full maxed out in that one. I just have max production value. <laughs> yeah like i'm tempted to like even ask like my friends to be actors in some of these things like yeah. hey can you, you want to do a shrek video together uh <laughs> but guys I need you to film me getting gas as shrek yeah yeah <laughs> something like that <laughs> total stranger at the gas station hey can you film me with the shrek doll real quick like uh <laughs> oh, man <laughs> you should go into the gas station and shrek, like hey you go to pack of smokes <laughs> oh, God. yeah i should do a voice for that doll too like he doesn't he said oh yeah, you know, yeah oh yeah that's about it he only said nani I yeah, know it's probably better if he has, he's just, man, unless this is like the finale, just like the, his last word. He finally speaks in the finale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's like they try to get Michael Myers to speak in the Halloween movie. Oh, Say yeah. something like, oh my God. I'm excited for that, by the way. Halloween Kills was supposed to come out oh, last yeah. October, delayed a whole year. I mean, that is my favorite horror franchise. So I'm like dying to get a new movie already. Yeah, I love Halloween. Uh, some yeah. of the sequels are shit but holy yeah. resurrection we need to do commentary for <laughs> oh, trick or treat motherfucker oh, fuck. like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i ain't gonna lie though the scene where buster rhymes is wearing the mask and he walks <laughs> into actual michael Myers. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> only buster starts doing kung fu making karate oh, sounds dude oh my god what were they thinking <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, the only one I really truly despise is Halloween Six: Curse of Michael Myers. Oh, I oh. <laughs> garbage, dude. People shit on Halloween Five. I kind of have nostalgia for Halloween Five, but Halloween Six is trash. What about Halloween Three? Season of the Witch. I've actually never seen that. I've seen clips, but I've never seen it. So odd. Ugh, I don't like it. Because <laughs> yeah, they were trying to do a whole different... Oh, it's an anthology series. So yeah. this one's not about Michael Myers. Uh, I appreciate that aspect, but... Yeah. Some people it. like that. There's there's yeah. hardcore fans of that one. I know that. Yeah, we'll, we'll for sure have to do something for Halloween Resurrection. Yeah, around Halloween It's so time. 2000s. Even have the, like, the camera, like, oh, look at this high-tech technology. Oh. It's like some old camera. <laughs> yeah, because you know what's funny? Like, even then, I, I totally get it. Like, it was the turn of the century. So we felt like we were living in the future already. So we thought everything was so cool. But it really wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. It's like the 80s when everyone tried to be futuristic. But it's yes. like, like that's Rocky... considered old. <laughs> yeah, like Rocky IV had a robot in it. So, oh, yeah. you know, they're trying to be oh, futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, they're doing a director's cut of Rocky Four right now. It's going to be called Rocky versus Drago, supposedly, and it's going to be released on 4K. And they're trying to get rid of the robot. I think that's so, what he says. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's going to be zero robot in that movie. Yeah, I think they asked him, they're like, is there going to be the robot in this one? So Vester Stallone's like, no, there will be no robot. What do you think? There's no robot in my masterpiece. Yeah, so we, we got to keep the, we buy the Blu ray so you get the robot cut. I'm absolutely buying Rocky Four. Dude, Rocky Four <laughs> is almost as hype worthy as Rocky One. Like Rocky One gets me hyped, but like the music I'm talking about, like the music in Rocky Four almost gets me much as hyped as the first movie does. Like it's got a great soundtrack and montages, and yeah, I love it. Yeah, but yeah, um, I love all the Rocky movies. Like I said, but those two in particular get me. Hyped I always thought it was up. stupid how in just Rocky they were like. It wasn't it like a futuristic thing or whatever. It was like, um, like that was the thing. Like the whole plot was like they saw some like, uh, what was it? Some future like uh, I can't just, I can't find the word. Oh, you're talking about like in uh, the sixth movie when he sees the virtual fight. Yeah, the virtual fight. That was stupid. Like, the well, whole thing was... Was like, well, the virtual fight predicts it. It's gonna be true. <laughs> yeah, that was like a, a 2006 way of trying to get. <laughs> you know rocky to come out of retirement i i understand i get it like at the time it was like video game the graphics were you know i mean obviously they weren't good nowadays but like back then oh look at these graphics it looks so cool like i get what they're going for like oh a virtual fight so that's why he decides to i mean it's still a great movie but i get what you're saying it's kind of like what <laughs> a video game did that uh, yeah but uh, yeah, man, Pre 3 is in the works, and I don't think Stallone's going to be in that one, but supposedly uh, Michael B. Jordan's going to direct it, so I like that aspect. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Stallone directed most of the Rocky movies. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hyped up for that. Did they ever show a new release date for Wes Anderson's uh, The French Connection? Or The French Dispatch or whatever? <laughs> the French Connection. That's a movie with Gene <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, The French Dispatch. <laughs> the French Connection. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's a date for that. Um, it's this year, though. I know that. Let me look this up. The French Dispatch. January 28th, 2021. <laughs> I mean, 2022. No, no, no. It says 2021. Oh, is that like an old date, maybe? This is initial release in Slovakia. Slovakia. <laughs> oh, so it would have came out in January. Okay, I see. That's J. Cole's birthday, by the way, January 28th because he has a song about it january oh, yeah. 20th yeah <laughs> i know you don't like j cole but i thought that was funny um yeah i don't know when that's gonna they, i guess they haven't decided yet um yeah slovakia i see that and hopefully i mean at some point it's got to release this year yeah it's definitely gonna be this year sometime oh it's got timothy chalamet who by the way was announced to be playing willy wonka in a prequel movie today oh my god dude his jawline is amazing yeah it doesn't beat mine though I mean, yeah, dude. <laughs> or yours, or the boss babies. <laughs> yeah, dude, like his jawline was sculpted by the gods. Full homo. No, I think Wes Anderson's was sculpted by the gods. Ooh. Um, and yeah, Timothy Chalamet is supposed to be in Dune. I cannot wait to see Dune in Dolby. No, you're gonna go watch the boss baby in Dolby. Yeah, I'll skip Dune. I'll watch yeah, boss skip baby Dune. Dune. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they can have that in IMAX 3D. The boss baby. I think I, I saw IMAX um, as part of the listing. I don't know about IMAX 3D. <laughs> let me, let me <laughs> check again. Here. Experience. Boss Baby Family Business. Yes. Are you going to watch 9? Am I going to what? 
watch for nine next month oh for nine <laughs> yeah i'm gonna probably go see that because i'm a yeah. fan even though i hate that title <laughs> i mean i don't totally hate it it sounds like a video game title or something i don't FNAF. know why like a racing game fnaf nine F9. what is that title like how are you supposed to say that f9 or yeah for nine <laughs> like, it's, like a, it's gonna be a fan four stick situation again like i actually kind of like the eighth title fate of the furious because it's f and eight together fate okay i kind of like that you know and plus it deals with the plot of the movie where he's like you know going rogue and he goes against the his family whatever so but f9 is just what is that what does it mean f9 f9 oh boy that series <laughs> and the first movie turned 20 years old um this month i think was the yeah thing. yeah that's crazy i remember that was the first dvd we ever had was i still have it the fast furious the first movie we got it for free from universal studios randomly i don't remember why we just got it for free somehow which is funny because they sell dvds there for like ridiculous prices you know at their stores in there like they had a ghostbusters 2 4k in there for 40 dollars which is absurd. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. So, but that was back in the 2000s. So things were cheaper back then, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've got such nostalgia for the first Fast and Furious. Um, yeah. Have you seen all of them, by the way? No. You've only seen uh, Fast Five, right? No. Well, you haven't watched any of them? I've seen Fast Seven. Oh, only that one? Yeah, in the first half of of the Fast and the Furious. The first one, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should do a marathon of those. That'll be funny. Yeah, I was gonna now, try to do. I was gonna try to do a video where it was like first time watching all the Saw movies and kind mm-hmm. of vlog it, but like I I'd, I'd already seen Spiral and I'd seen parts of Jigsaw and I've seen the first Saw before. Yeah. So I was like, eh, it wouldn't really make much sense. So maybe a Fast and Furious. I kind of want to do one of those, you know. Yeah, people, those are popular videos where people, like, there's, like, a big movie they've never seen, and they put, first time watching this, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, but I actually want to make it, like, I'm listening, like, it's not like making me, me, like, watching it, but it's going to kind of be, like, oh, yeah, putting in the first movie, and I'd be, like, what the hell was that? Mm -hmm. No, but, like, it'd be good for your channel, because, like, you would see them get more ridiculous. I don't know, because all of my, it's weird with my channel, all the videos I kind of just randomly make out of nowhere, those are the ones I get the views with the ones I'm, like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see what people think of this one. That, like, gets, like, nothing. (laughs) <laughs> yeah sometimes that happens yeah like that like, one like the first Steelers video i made i kind of just made that day and just put it out randomly right and i ended up getting like almost five thousand views i I, got, I made the paramore video it wasn't like crazy edited or effort but i was like hopefully a lot of people would see it we could talk about it and like i think it has like 30 views so i'm like dang i wish that one would have got because i feel like i would have had a lot of good discussions with people about it um yeah but yeah yeah, there's certain things like you know you put a lot of hard work into, or you're just really hyped for it, and it ends up not meeting your satisfaction. That that happens a lot, which is you know, I mean that's just how it is sometimes. Yeah, like the Funko Street stuff, you know, still to this day, those videos don't have enough views. Like the first episode has a lot of views, which is funny, but th- there's a lot of episodes that have just like 80 views, and I'm like, man, I wish more people would watch it. it you know, it's whatever, you know. It'll get discovered one day. I have a strong feeling somebody will discover it and send it to people, and I don't know. Um, but yeah, man, that's just how it is sometimes. Uh, but hey, your Steelers video was hilarious. So like, I get it. Like five thousand views, yeah, it was good. The second one's funny too. I hope people watch that. Yeah, um, the follow up. <laughs> I wanted to make that like an ongoing thing. That's just like a character of my channel, just the obsessed fan. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like how you have the Shrek lore basically yeah, yeah you have your own little lores <laughs> yeah i don't know now i think i might include that uh, i don't want to spoil it <laughs> oh okay okay yeah <laughs> i get what you're saying already like you want to play different <laughs> versions like because like angry video game nerd he has different versions of himself in videos that sometimes interact with each other like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i get it <laughs> oh boy um yeah my shrek character that is going to constantly have a Jeff Goldblum t-shirt on with a bandaid on my nose for no reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that'll be that version of me. Um, I just threw the bandaid on there just for fun. I don't know. <laughs> Truck beat me up or something. You gotta make Funko street merch. Yeah. I was thinking about that. I mean, <laughs> I 
don't think anybody's gonna know what it is. I right? would. I know you. Oh, absolutely. Um, yes, I think the Shrek shirt still only sold one. Let me check that. Buyers, I, I'm told you, I'm, I'm still. I might, might just wait to the very last second to see. Yeah, you, you don't have to buy one, but you know. Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, still only sold one. It's okay. Better than zero. When is it? When is it like, when, uh, do they alert you when they're shipping out? Yeah, it's at a certain date. I forget. Let me see what it says. Mm. And now it says in order to print it, you know, I had to sell at least one. So <laughs> thank God um, I did sell at least one. <laughs> um, let me see here. Uh, ships on June 3rd, estimated. June 3rd. Oh, okay. That's not too far off. Okay. Guaranteed to print. I like that. It has a confirmation right there. <laughs> um yeah, one day I'll make more merchandise of things. It just has to be. How's that work though? Like, where are you getting? Like, what's the cut you're getting from it? Well, um, let me see here. Off that one shirt, it says I'm gonna make three dollars and eight cents. Let's go. So better than zero dollars. Yeah. And Aaron was, or not Aaron, Arian. You guys have such similar names. It's funny. Um, Arian was kind enough to leave a five dollar tip on there. So that guy is more than nice. I said, I actually said to him, next time I make a T-shirt, I'm gonna send it to him for free because he deserves it um yeah so three dollars for a shirt and a five dollar tip that's nice of him but yeah basically you get three dollars for each one you sell <laughs> which yeah. is i don't know if that's a good or bad what thing. about all, all the times that we've like super chatted because i know i've super chatted you a couple times on youtube like what would you like i know it's like not a lot you can actually go in your youtube settings and like uh, see all the super chats you've gotten mm -hmm. like you can actually still read them which is funny but you can add up how many you get like it just goes straight to your in your adsense account or whatever how many subscribers do you think you need until you can make a living off of youtube um i mean i don't know if it's about subscriber count but you definitely need to get like thousands of views a day you know what i mean the mm -hmm. ad revenue um i'm not really sure um i mean if i'm being i, I don't mind saying this i only i make how much do I make? I actually got paid the other day because every time oh. <laughs> the thing, the thing, the money builds up, it accumulates in your AdSense yeah. account. Mm -hmm. So mine is set to where every time it hits a thousand dollars, because I think that's the minimum, they yeah. send it to your bank account. So I actually oh, got wow. paid yeah, the other day. So I think that took like a, a whole eight months, maybe since the last time I got paid. So every eight months right now, I'm getting a thousand dollars basically. That's good. I mean, it's like, yeah. that's not bad that's okay all. i mean you can't live off that obviously but no i know but considering nice, like, just yeah. like making videos unboxing stuff you're already gonna get like an extra thousand dollars for that like i'd take right it, and know? the thing is it can only go up unless people stop yeah. watching you for whatever reason because like the more videos you make they're gonna accumulate money like i have like a thousand videos and the more videos i make they make like a few cents each day but times that by a thousand you know what i mean like i make it so i mean like months. you're not someone who's like trying to make videos just to make money so like, the no. fact that you're still getting that just it's it's cool like right right, right, right. yeah i know yeah. it's Cool. So I was interested yeah. because you have about like 15, almost 15,000 subscribers. No, almost. no, uh, almost 12,000. Yeah. 12, right, right, right. right. And, like the fact that you still make that, it's it's cool. Like you can do that. Right. No, it's We're still books. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hell, I mean, I'm spending so much money on the unboxings and all that. But no, I'm just, the thing that's funny about it, like I think to my, in my head, I would be buying this stuff regardless. Like I know for a fact because I'm, this is what I used to do anyways before YouTube. I would buy Funko Pops, I would buy Steel Books. I just happened to, start filming it you know what i mean so mm -hmm. either way i'd be spending the money on this stuff so yeah it's 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 a nice yeah. little compensation but you know it, I, to make a living off youtube is hard you gotta really have a fan base you know what i mean so and make those views yeah so yeah yeah it's tricky but you know hey uh if, if it say if i stay a small youtuber forever i i'm okay with that i you know it's whatever um mm -hmm. i got my loyal fans you aaron or arian see i almost mixed your names up again uh but yeah man it's just it's a cool thing though like you meet cool people on here and yeah like i got you get all guys benefits yeah <laughs> everything early because you're a youtuber yeah dude i'm privileged white yeah, privileged, privileged male um <laughs> <laughs> although ali you don't look like white at all like really like, yeah i know yeah, it's I funny tell. <laughs> a lot of people think i'm not i mean it's weird because i am white like on paper i'm officially white but like i'm technically mixed because my mom is mixed my dad's a white dude but my mom is mixed so like i'm technically mixed um yeah i have like a darker complexion a little bit like i think i so do you look anything like your parents at all yeah yeah i look a lot like my dad um mm. 
like a lot. Like I remember in second grade, my dad, uh, I think we had like a parent teacher conference or something. Mm -hmm. And my dad and me were at it. And my second grade teacher was like, Oh my God, you look just alike. (laughs) It was so funny. Um, yeah, I look a lot like my dad and some of the features of my mom too, but it's mostly my dad. Cause obviously I'm a dude. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's funny. So do you look like your parents? Uh, I, I have some slight features of my dad, um, uh-huh. but everyone tells me I look more like my grandpa for some reason. Oh, um, I don't see it too much, but I guess everyone says I look a lot like the younger version, like his younger version. I look like it mm-hmm. in a way. So I guess I got to just skip generations. Right. Look. Um, but yeah, I, I think I don't look too much like, like, I think my sister looks more like my parents do. I don't really, I'm not too much looking like them that much. I'd say I look more like my dad though, a right. little bit, some features, although he like me and him are completely different skin tones. <laughs> I'm oh, darker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, funny that's because, funny. Yeah. Cause like he's okay. So like, I'm, I would, I guess I'm a hundred percent like Hispanic. Um, mm. although my grandparents and my mom from are from here, but they're my my grandma's mom is from Mexico, mm-hmm. and then my dad's parents are from Mexico. Um, so, but my mom's the darker looking one, but my dad's like the whiter looking one. <laughs> even though he's like the mainly Mexican person, my mom isn't. Uh-huh. So it's just funny because it's like right. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny. Like. Uh like my sister we have the same parents obviously but she is like i'm not trying to say anything mean but she's really pale like you would think she might be albino but she's not albino she's just really <laughs> white you know what i'm saying yeah uh, so like yeah we're uh, white people but it's just like, i look kind of dark it's funny and people mm-hmm. think tons of people think i'm hispanic which is hilarious because i i suck at spanish like i know certain words you know uh, my mm-hmm. pronunciation's decent. I can't roll R's or anything, mm-hmm. but you know, it's just hilarious. The amount of people that think I'm Hispanic, it's ridiculous. Really, it's crazy, mm-hmm. dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I was growing up, I was around my dad's parents and they kind of spoke mainly Spanish, but like, I still can't speak Spanish, even if my life depended on it. I'd be really? like, I, I can't speak that great Spanish. No, I could, I understand some of it. Like I can understand a good majority of it because I've had to understand it so much sometimes, mm-hmm. but I can't speak it. Like when I'm speaking, I just become just like a deer in headlights. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Like I I'm decent at understanding certain Spanish like phrases and stuff. Like I, mm-hmm. I, like I work with a lot of Hispanic people for years and like, I understand a lot of, I, like I learned a lot of new words working with them. And I also understand what they're saying sometimes, but I can't create my own, you know, sentences. Like I suck at it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And I took Spanish in college. I took it in high school. You know, I know the basics. Like I can say any number in Spanish. Like I know the numbers are easy. Like, you know, this is a uh, podcast numero trece, like, you know, yeah. this is number 13. Um, so, but yeah, I know certain things. Yeah. 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 Although like, I can, I can roll my R's pretty good though. So oh, roll an R. That's the one thing I guess. It's yeah, like I can't do that. If I, okay. Let me embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get you there. You're there. Oh, no. yeah. Uh, I yeah. yeah, I can't do it. What's a word with an R in it that you could roll? Uh, I can't think of any. I, I, I again, what Rojo? I think I yeah. just say it like that. Oh, Rojo. you don't roll an R? No. Um, uh, I don't know. What does the R have to be like in the middle or something? A little bit, kind of. I think. I don't know. I'm not a big Spanish speaker. <laughs> Um, I I'm don't know. English. Yeah. <laughs> Soy gringo. I always say that. Soy gringo. Yeah. I'm a white boy. <laughs> you say that, yet you're white, yet you don't look white. I know. It's <laughs> you so know you're everything at once. Yeah, it's so it's so strange. Like, my feet, I know my feet don't see the sunlight, but my feet are so pale. I'm like, here's the evidence. Look at my feet. Like, you, like, when I first saw, like, your like face reveal videos i like i thought you were a little mixed but i thought you were black mainly oh yeah oh well, yeah there you go my mom's side she's some black like um my mom's dad was from bermuda so mm-hmm. that's yeah and then her mom was like mostly indian mixed with also native american indian like both to get like regular indian and native american indian both of them uh together and then she lived in canada so there's that also so it's like a huge <laughs> hodgepodge of stuff yeah yeah. And that's how you were made. Right. <laughs> so like my mom, like when she, she, she fills out like what's her uh, ethnicity or whatever. Or, Everything. Or it's just like she puts all <laughs> Everything like, plus there's, one. There's like no definition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Um, mm-hmm. 
I just say my mom's mixed. I used to say she's half black, but that's not really true. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, whatever Bermuda is, you know what I mean. I'm not really. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We've been talking for a bit, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how long it has it been. I feel like it's been, it's been two, two hours. hours. Yeah, how has it been two hours? It doesn't feel like two hours. No, I feel like it's been like maybe an hour. Yeah. What the hell? That's so weird. I mean, I, I'm. We can keep going if you want. I don't care. We got to make up for the next two weeks, basically. So, oh, yeah. um, if they have, that was another thing I was asking you. Like, I was like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it would be probably better if we just did the short ones rather than pre-record ones. No, yeah, I don't want to do pre-recorded. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we could do short ones if we find the time to do it. I'm sure yeah, we'll yeah. find some time to do yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even many ones, even like at 15, 20 minutes, if we have to, like even that's exactly. something. Yeah, something. I mean, like, if so anything, how's it going, Tyler? <laughs> yeah, hi. How you doing? All right, guys. That's been the podcast. See you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Plus, I mean, we still yeah. got to play zombies at some point because I know. That the last time we did it, I know it was pretty fun. Yeah, you know what it like, is? Because right now, um, they're doing it by seasons. I think they're on season three right now for the yeah. game. They're not putting out, like, new maps. They're just adding on to the Outbreak. You know what Outbreak is, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the open world zombies. They're just, like, adding to that, which I'm not really a huge fan of that. It's okay. I would just prefer a new map. So, like, they did yeah. Firebase Z. Transit 2. Oh, God. <laughs> Give me Transit 2. Uh, the, trash, the best zombie map the trash that's my hot take i think transit is one of the best if not the funnest best zombie map all right i don't mind that as long as you just don't say it's number one <laughs> it is number one no <laughs> wait besides besides the played? one of the fire uh, in that same game um i played all of them you played okay i love i love adventures in space line too oh moon or whatever oh no no no. i'm talking about treyarch not uh infinity ward like black ops uh, world at war all the uh, black ops in world at all war. the black ops ones yeah i still yeah. think it's my favorite transit is uh but i'm saying have you played like the black ops one two, yeah i've had all of them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. really you like mm-hmm. you like transit more than the original dur reese or keynote or turn like oh yeah what oh my god dude i don't <laughs> wait a minute this is like that guy that said he likes attack of the clones the best <laughs> 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 uh i want you to look up videos about people trashing transit and you'll see what i mean i mean you can like it that's fine you know there's nothing nothing wrong with that but uh that's so funny <laughs> yeah trans <laughs> shit I'm just kidding. no 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 <laughs> oh god um no i was gonna say so whenever they do like a new map on cold war i'll definitely get back on it they have like a john mcclain john rambo thing going on did you see that oh yeah in Warzone they do yeah, that's so funny. I don't play Warzone. I should, but have you ever played before? I've played it before, yes, but I, I just don't play it. You know, we gotta play it together. Yeah, because we're both noobs. That is gonna be funny content. Yeah, we'll just die a thousand times. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'll keep inviting you. You never, you never like. Oh yeah, let's play here. And I'm like, and that reminds yeah. me too. Like, I want to do. I haven't done. I don't do live streams that often, but I want to do more live streams. Like, we should actually try doing this podcast live once to see how it goes. We can try one time. Let me see if it works. Yeah, we'll figure out a way to like broadcast it and have people send us questions and you know what I mean. Like it'll be fun. Pop the podcast live. Exactly. Oh, that'd be so cool. To try. Get your tickets by ordering the Nani T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Nani. <laughs> if I made a Funko Street shirt, what would it be? Uh, it would just be your pronoun your terrible pronunciation of Cthulhu. God, that's another thing that hurts me. I actually <laughs> thought it was I thought it was Cthulhu. <laughs> I didn't know. Like I'd only seen it written down. I'd never I thought heard you it. I thought I literally thought you were purposely doing it. Like no. purposely doing Cthulhu. Uh, actually I'll just retcon that. Yes, I was purposely doing no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, yeah, no. Uh God. Certain things I just wish I could fix, but whatever. <laughs> that's the fun of YouTube. You learn and yeah. Yeah. You know it's actually pronounced Cthulhu. When did you even learn that? How, like what, what? Like what? What happened? I think I don't know what it was. I was seeing. I was probably watching videos about something, and somebody mentioned Cthulhu, and I was like, "Wait a minute, pronounce Cthulhu." I can't <laughs> remember what it was, but yeah. And I was like, "Let me make sure I reference that." And oh, I think it was season four when they all show up again. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, did you know my girlfriend's name is actually pronounced Cthulhu, not Cthulhu? Isn't that so funny? Oh my god! Like you know. Um, I miss doing the voices and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> uh, 
power of the puzzle box. I will kill you all. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was going to ask you, does that one hurt your throat when you had to do a... Uh, if you do it for a long time, it does. But, like, right now, that didn't hurt at all. So. Would you ever bring back the actual action figure of what's his name? With oh, Lucio? Negan. That's yeah. another thing. I wish they had a pop at the time, but they didn't. Uh, <laughs> And then he's like, why do you look different? I grew a beard. Okay, moving on. Yeah, I like <laughs> yeah. those little jokes like that. <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, God. That figure is worth a lot of money, which is funny. I'm glad I have it. The, the action figure of Negan. Mm -hmm. oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't wait for your show, though. Like, I'm sure it's going to have tons of fun moments like that, like, and clever jokes and stuff like that. Yeah, the first episode isn't necessarily a comedy, though. I will tell you that. Okay. It's a wannabe comedy. Yeah, it's a wannabe comedy. He got you there. Roll credits. Roll credit. Oh, my God. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, bad. Yeah. I'm sure Gajira is going to show up at some point. Gajira. Don't count on it. Uh, well, I mean, who knows? Yeah, no, I, I mean, the direction is going, it'd literally be impossible for him to show up. Okay. Yeah. So, is there a, a, an estimated release date yet? Summertime, fall? Perhaps. Ooh, which one? <laughs> yes. Got that summertime, summertime sadness. Oh, yeah, we need this. We need a uh, La La Land episode of the Poppin' Off podcast where you sing the entire, con like, all the uh, topics. You just reminded me. Um, I forgot to tell you this. So, in the Shrekening, I'm holding a steelbook. It was the La La Land steelbook. Did, I don't know if you caught You, you couldn't catch that because I was only showing the, the no, back side of it. Because, yeah, you know, when I was filming that segment, I didn't have oh, the actual. Right. Oh, right. Oh, my God. I okay, yeah, I was going to ask you that. I keep for Yeah. You <laughs> so, said you filmed that so long in advance. I was like, did you only film like, two minutes worth of it because it looks like you just filmed that like right before you did no the unboxing. no 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 that took a long time to do no 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 so like i knew i'd have to have a steelbook in the bag so like i need one that looks similar to it and i knew it was like an off-white color yeah well the only steelbook i had that sort of matched it without a bunch of artwork on it which is kind of plain was la la land even though it's not the same yeah. white like la la land's like straight up white and then dude i would record. not i legit thought you've only filmed like the part where you're driving or something or like other part like small parts before and i, I no. thought the part where you have like that whole beginning i thought legit it, you filmed that the same day because it looks like it oh really that's so funny i'm glad it works like that no yeah. everything in the video was filmed separate like the unboxing was literally done that day i uploaded no wonder because i was like how come he seems so high energy in the intro and then when he's unboxing he seems a little tired i was like well, why is well, that yeah i mean well number one i worked all day so i was tired yeah. as hell but number two, I was trying to play off like I just got shot by a, a stuffed yeah. animal and, yeah, you know, yeah. I, <laughs> they stabbed him and everything. <laughs> um, no, no, no. So the funny thing that happened, I should have included this in the video. I accidentally, I did a take where I lifted up Shrek to stab him and I mm. accidentally dropped this, the La La Land steelbook. It was in the bag and I fell right on the floor, like a good five feet. Oh, no. And it made a loud noise. And I was like, oh, my God. I had the footage of it. I don't know why I deleted it off my own. Post it. Post it as, like, a behind the scenes. Like... No, no, no. I, I deleted all the oh, uh, no. the bad takes off my phone. But I didn't realize, man, that would have made a great blooper. I should have kept that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thankfully, the steelbook didn't get messed up. I just accidentally dropped it, which was, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um. Yeah, I forgot to tell you about that because I know you love La La Land, so I thought that'd be yeah. a funny little hidden detail. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a fun video to make. See, it looked like it. You just, yeah. I wonder what, like, or did any, I wonder what would have happened if anyone walked in on you just like stabbing Shrek or you getting Oh, my God. Well, no, I kept, I purposely shut the door and locked it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I didn't, someone walks in on me doing that. That's kind of, uh, how do you explain that one? Well, you walked out for dinner and you were like, guys, I just got stabbed by Shrek. Yeah, guys, like, I, just, I just got shot. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of regret not doing some like blood effects, like putting some blood. Oh, you know, yeah. This is what I'm saying. The second one is going to be way better. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, How do you like what? Like, what's the occasion that would make you release a second one? Well, Shrek 2. You ever just release it? Oh, yeah. What if they don't, what if they don't announce a Shrek 2 in 4K? Well, like I'm saying, you know, maybe a 20th anniversary run, but that's, I don't want to wait that long. So, I know. I don't know. Um, maybe if they do a Shrek 5, you know, it yeah. comes out before that Shrek 2 4K, I'll probably... I don't know, or if you just make them some plot like the Shrek Steel. I'll do a movie Steel. review of Shrek 5, but I'll incorporate the Shrekening. You know what I mean? 
Or for the bo- or for the, if you watch the boss baby, Shrek could be like, you went and watched another animated DreamWorks characters movie without me, or you didn't watch Ooh. Shrek. Hmm, I like yeah. where this is going. But that's already going to be like an hour and a half video, ain't it? How long is the boss baby? <laughs> no, I mean like for your review of the boss baby too. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, he'll like show up in the car. Yeah, while I'm reviewing it, he's like in the back seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god uh that's so funny or you can be like in your review you go watch the boss baby uh, the boss baby 2 and like you see shrek in the background and everyone's like why is shrek in there but they won't know unless you watch the actual video and you see that he's stalking you like going to <laughs> <laughs> as you watch it and like you just don't know and he just happens to be in the background so like that's a fun little easter egg well the, the more complex <laughs> these videos get i'm gonna need assistance because that doll does not stand up it does not sit <laughs> down it just falls over so like it's hard to it's hard to get any it's not that. like laying down it's like a beer bottle next to him in the back seat <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah over. like any shot you see him like i have something propped up against him because like he will fall over like it does not stand up uh yeah yeah it's just funny um yeah man but i'm i'm still hyped to see what you do no matter how advanced or whatever, like whatever it is, I'm just, I'm hyped for it. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to make it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully this week or something. Yeah. Hopefully I can make it this week. Yeah. And man, I, I should try to do some sort of video at the theme park. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> sure I don't know it takes what it on do. universal. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, we bring this up with me. Oh my God. <laughs> on the I ride with you. <laughs> on the ride with you. He's I like, has his hands up. <laughs> I go to the Shrek 4D show and he's like forcing me to go see it. He's sitting yeah. next to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I like the picture you take of you on the ride. It's just gonna be like the crop version where you just see Shrek with his hands up. <laughs> yeah, right. Like the photo after the yeah. ride, you can get the photo of you with oh my god. I sneak him on the ride with me somehow. Yeah. Yeah. That doll's pretty big. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but be like, oh. I'm a little baby. I'm just a tall baby. Let oh, me yeah, this, is my son. this is my yeah. son. This is my son dressed up as Shrek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh God, That's so funny. <sighs> Shrek. Yeah, <laughs> Shrek. <Shrek's back. laughs> All right. So, uh, anything else to cover on this extra long edition? I think this might be the longest episode yet. Probably, and it's funny that this isn't like a specific like. It's not like oh, we're talking about new, like it's just like just like a casual kind of. Yeah, this just happened. Like it just sort yeah. of. It's, yeah it's two hours because like the episodes where we're like oh yeah we have a whole thing thing to review like they're usually like they're the shortest ones but the ones we're just kind of just here they end up going like much longer it's funny yeah <laughs> i, I kind of actually enjoy these more because it's just like it's just like so unexpected like oh i'm talking about bringing trek with me to the theme park and you yeah. know just yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just funny mm-hmm. <laughs> oh wait are you gonna even oh wait, no no you are gonna still be back by the time loki premieres yeah, we actually come back the day before, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it comes out Wednesday. We come back Tuesday morning or afternoon, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Wednesday. That's such a weird day. That's because Godzilla versus Kong came out on the Wednesday. So it's like, yeah. what the hell? But okay. I mean, hey, we're getting it sooner. So that's fine yeah. with me. Yeah. Yeah. Loki's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So you want to wrap it up here? Yeah. So um, the title for this should be either shrek related or the countdown to the boss baby begins oh boy <laughs> boss baby begins <laughs> boss baby begins like that yeah. begins yeah boss baby begins super alliteration yeah. all right we'll go boss baby begins yeah i like that one yes yes all yes, right. yes yes all right so um the editing is going to be interesting we'll see how that goes with all the video non- oh yeah like the first like half an hour is like video and i don't know what was up with that I, it's probably my internet it's been i mean you could do just audio if you wanted to yeah, well, I'll, I don't know. I'll see how it looks. Like, if it looks like all okay. crappy, well, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's been episode 13. Um, I'm Tyler. And I am Aaron, aka number one boss baby fanboy, aka uh, the Shrekening Apostle. Oh, wait, the, wait, what was it? The ones who come in warn of like the coming of Shrek? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Aaron. <laughs> yeah, and we just popped off. We just Shreked off. Ooh. Not Shrek. We didn't Shrek off Shrek. He just Shreked, if that makes sense. Adios. (laughs) Adios. (laughs) I like them apples.